this one. Too poofy. Ooh, how about that? That is hot. You could totally carry that off. Still looking for new styles for the dance tomorrow night? Why don't you just wear something you already have? Yeah, right. This is our first homecoming dance. We've been saving our paychecks for a month. It's a major milestone in a girl's life. Is this major for dudes too? No. Cool. I don't know why you're going with those guys anyway. Jerry and Pete are wimps. They are not. They're athletes. Tennis isn't a sport. And what qualifies as a sport? You have to be able to knock someone else down. Tennis players have amazing bodies. Wimps? Okay, I am ending this conversation now. Well, I'm flying solo. You are? Why? I just feel that I should be focusing all of my energy on my skating at this particular time. Star hasn't taken you back after that barfing incident? Not yet. Well, I don't care what you think. Jerry is hot and I can't wait! <laughs>
You wouldn't die or anything, would you? Uh-uh. I just got a huge stomach ache. Last time I ate something with mushrooms in the sauce, I was in the El Spardo washroom for four hours. Ew. Ooh. Ew. Back it up, Stinky. You're scaring away the customers. So, we've got all day to find the perfect dress. Where should we start? <gasps> oh. My. Gosh. I was born to wear this dress. It's called the Look at Me dress because everyone will look at you when you wear it. It's so pretty. Do you have it in any other colors? Oh, no. This is the last one in, like, the whole store. You did see it first. Oh, go for it. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Oh, it's such a great dress. Thanks. We'll find you your dream dress, too. Don't worry. Ow! Oh, no. I can't afford this. I've already bought those shoes. I guess nobody will be looking at you. Come again when you have more money. Have a khaki day. Okay, this guy at Soup Village says it's impossible to eat 10 crackers in one minute without a drink. A buck says neither of you can do it. You're on! Hey guys, what are you doing? Scuffing our faces! Who was a deer? Nothing. Want to join us? You can help us with a little experiment we're doing. <laughs> Uh, uh, I told you, dude! It's impossible! You guys owe me a buck! I'll catch you later, Wyatt. Okay, I look so hot in this. I thought you couldn't afford it. No, Caitlin couldn't afford it. Don't tell her I bought it, though. You do realize you're going to the same dance? Yes, but once she finds her new perfect dress, she'll forget all about this one. Uh-oh. Jen, what are you doing in my new dress? Good plan. N nothing What are you doing here? I decided I really wanted the dress, so I returned my new shoes. Too late. She's buying it. <gasps> okay, calm down. It's not really your dress, Caitlin. I am calm, and yes it is, dress dealer! <gasps> I don't see your name on it. But I saw it first. That's like totally against girl rules. The I saw it first rule doesn't count if you can't buy it. Right, Nikki? Oh, no. I'm not getting dragged into this. I'm going for lunch. I agree with her. But it's my look-at-me dress. Yeah, you can't do that to someone. Ring, ring. Wake up call. It can't be her dress if she's buying it. Huh. Thank you. <gasps> That's it. We are so not going to the dance together. Fine. 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 <laughs> but once I ate so much chocolate, I started to shake. Cool. Ah, oh, yet another stimulating conversation. Ah! Hello? Anyone home? Quick, do something. Okay. <clears throat> Fire! Quick, evacuate them all! Now! Don't just stand there! Run! Save yourselves! <laughs> oh. oh, that was so embarrassing. Did you see those outfits? They had those before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> they were pretty stylish. They won't be bothering you for a little while. Aw, lovebirds exchanging poems over their phones now. <laughs> Let me guess. It says, I love you, my little Wyattkins. No, bye bye, wa wash, moopy whoopy. I don't get it. I think she just dumped me on a text message. <gasps> No way. She broke up with you on a text message? What was she thinking? Even I'd never do that. That's harshing my mellow, dude. It's not you, it's me? Yeah, right. Hate to break it to you, dude, but it's definitely you. Okay, you cannot believe what Jen just did to me. Can it top Serena dumping Wyatt in a text message? <gasps> you poor thing. Why is everyone just sitting around? 
He needs tissues, sad music, and chocolate fudge sundaes. Stacked. I'm on the ice cream. I'll grab the tissues. Here. I have some really sad Sarah McLaughlin pre-programmed for the first day after a breakup. And some Alanis Morissette for later, when you hit your angry face. No, thanks. I think I know best, Wyatt. I've been dumped more than anyone. No. Chick music. Jonesy! I'll tell you what he needs. A new, hotter girlfriend. And I'm gonna find one for you. Come on! I've got a great gig for meeting chicks. You can't skip the ice cream stage! Come back! <sighs> they never listen. <gasps> My dress! I've gotta get shopping! Okay, I'll be your wingman. Just try to look cool. Mm. Mm. Okay, maybe you need more of a pilot. I'll flirt on your behalf. Look alive, incoming hotties. Hey there, looking for a date? <laughs> yeah, right. Nice hat. Oh, it's not for me, it's for my friend here. He doesn't look very fun. Dude, I can't help you here if you don't want to help yourself. Those were grade A hotties. <gasps> it's Serena! Dude, you've got to show her that you're back on the market. Hey, Wyatt. Uh... Okay, then. Pathetic. Jen, I think I should just re-remind you that I saw it first. Already bought it, remember? That's why you should take it back and let me buy it. It's only fair. Caitlin, forget it. There are hundreds of dresses in this mall. But I've been looking all day and I haven't found anything I like. It's my dream dress. Please? Hmm. You just don't want to give it to me because you know I look cuter in it than you do. Oh, that's it. You can follow me around all day, but I suggest you spend your energy shopping for a new dress instead, because I am not giving you mine. Fine, I will. Fine, go then. I am. <sighs> ah. Nuts. Ooh. Jude, I need you now. Aisle three, just outside the barn. Be right there. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Wong, remember me? I'm the kid that peed in Nikki's Mr. Fishy Pool. Have you seen the sick underwater exhibit here? They let you feed fish heads to the sharks. <laughs> Excuse me. Yo. Good work. There's a giganto-sized popcorn in this for you if you keep them busy for a few more hours. Nice, I'm in. <sighs> hey, Wyatt, what's up? What am I going to do? The first thing you need is answers. You can't get closure without answers. Like, how could she do it on text messaging? You got dumped on text messaging? That is so cool. So, are you ready to confront her? I think so. I just need to know. Then let's do it. What's the matter, dudette? I have nothing to wear to the dance. Bummer. Maybe a taste of my newest creation will cheer you up? Mushroom pizza stick it? Mmm. This is actually really good. It's the ground-up mushrooms that give it that delicious fungusy flavor. Kind of like feet. Uh, I wouldn't use that in your ads. Where are Nikki's parents? Feeding sharks? I thought I'd introduce them to a little culture. That looks so good. I'm starving. Yeah, taking other people's dresses really works up an appetite. Hmm. Hmm. What's going on? Why don't you ask Jen? Hey, Jen, stolen anyone else's dress lately? Okay, you need to get a grip on reality here. It's just a dress. Yeah, my dress. Okay, look, I'll help you find another one. How's that? Wait, Jen! Oh, what? Last time I ate mushrooms, I was in the El Sporto washroom for four hours. Oh, nothing. Mmm, <laughs> Jude, this is the best sticket I've ever tasted. I know, right? So good. The mushroom pizza sticket is a triumph. I am so good at this. Yeah, it'll be a real hit. Oh, what did I do? These weasels are awesome. I told you. Oh, I know. Let's shop where Nikki shops and get some hip new threads. OK. 
Okay, Nikki's parents. <gasps> we will shop at the khaki barn. <gasps> What are you doing in here? They said they wanted to shop where you shop. I don't shop here. Check out the Fetch Vintage. This is so me in 40 years. Get them out of here. Do you want to look boring like everyone else? Or would you rather I put you in some sick threads and make you look cool like me? Like you, dude. Do you want me to go with you? I could hurt her for you. I learned this really good shin kick. I need to do this on my own. Okay, well, I'll be here if you need me. Hey. Hey. So, I just wanted to know, why'd you break up with me? Well, the thing is, I think I'm getting back together with Chad. Chad? It just kind of happened on our senior trip to Paris. You dumped Wyatt for Chad? Oh, Wyatt's one of the nicest guys in the world. And how could you break up with someone on text messaging? Ouch, that's how you did it, babe. Sorry, dude, that's cold. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll just be back here. I mean, he's cool, but the guy's practically in a coma. Ouch. It's a maturity thing. He's just kind of cool about the things I need him to be cool about. Name one time I haven't been mature. How about when you pretended to like all those grown-up things so I'd like you? Well, okay, yeah, there was that time. Oh, and there's also the time you started tripping because I was wearing that stupid old bandana. And then there was that other okay, time... Okay, okay, I get the point. I was going to tell you, but when you gave me that present, I just couldn't do it to your face. I'm sorry I hurt you, Wyatt. You can have your bracelet back. Nah, you keep it. I got it for you. <gasps> That's it? You're just gonna walk away? Oh! I get it. You're planning revenge. <laughs> I can be really useful in that regard. That's okay. She's right. I wasn't mature enough for her. But one day I will be. And it'll be her loss. You know, when all the girls realize that bad boys aren't where it's at, they'll be fighting over you, right? When does that happen? I think around age 27. See, I told you that's what you needed. You just weren't ready yet. Don't give up yet, buddy. I'm gonna find you a hot chick by tomorrow night if it kills me. And I finally found a dress. So if Jonesy scares all the girls away, you can come with us. How's he doing? He'll survive. <laughs> Did you find a dress? Yeah. It's not as special as yours or anything, but... Good. Because I was thinking that maybe you should get to wear the dress after all. I'll wear yours. You will? Yeah. It means more to you anyway. And you did kind of see it first. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! <gasps> You're the best! <laughs> there you are! Okay, we've decided you have to go with us to the dance tomorrow. We'll all be matching. <gasps> That's the look at me dress. You all have one? Duh, employee discount. We bought them the day they came in. They are so fetch. We're doing a dress rehearsal tonight. Want to see our routine? Five, six, seven, eight. Whoa. We're so hot. See you at the dance tomorrow. Dress, buddy. What? I told you it's yours. I can't wear it now. People will think I'm with them. Well, I don't want it. Oh, man, the stores are closing. I won't even have time to exchange it for something else. I guess my lame dress isn't quite as lame as yours now. OK, neither of you can go in that dress, because then I'll be too embarrassed to be seen with either of you. Give them to me. There, now they're both somewhat cool. <gasps> Nikki, these are awesome! I know! So, are we all friends now? Definitely. Ooh, the movies are about to start. Cool. Let's do it! Sweet. Ah! Uh. Actually, guys, I don't feel so good. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, Jen, I've done something really wrong. What are you talking about? I'm the one who stole your dress. I think we should get you to the washrooms fast. Ah! Mm. Mm. Oh, this feels just like that time I ate mushrooms at El Sportos. Mm. Mm. Must have been something you ate. Mm. Oof. Mm. Ew! Mm. Okay, Jen, mm. don't worry. I'm not going to leave your side until this is all over, okay? Uh. 
I'll just wait for you outside the door. Okay. <gasps> Nikki, it's horrible. Who knew mushrooms could be that gross? Oh, I know. I was with her that day at El Sportos. Where did Jen get the mushrooms? She's usually really careful about that. Okay, maybe I shared my pizza kebab with her and maybe I didn't tell her what was in it. Hmm. But I didn't know it would be this bad. It's not like I made her eat it. She just took it. She would have eaten it even if I wasn't there. But you were. I know you're going to be in there by her side until she feels better. <sighs> Enjoy the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Do I know how to cure a broken heart or what, dude? I do feel a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> so then the guy asks... <laughs> now I feel much better. Dude. Aren't your parents at the mall today? What if they see us? Oh, relax. They never come to a movie like this. Right. Soup? I got fired today, but they felt bad that I missed my dinner break, so I got some free soup. Score. Looking good, Mr. and Mrs. Wong. Thanks, dude. Aren't Nikki and Jonesy back there? <gasps> Excuse me, can we just get by? <gasps> Nikki? <gasps> Mom? Dad? What are you wearing? Jude? One kitchen sink nachos. Knock yourselves out. I think you are my favorite person in the whole world. That's real nice, honey. No, it'd be nicer. A big tip. Hey, guys. What's up? Not much, Jaws. Is everything OK? It was, until she came back. Uh-oh. Courtney's back in town? Jen's older sister. Make that Jen's prettier does everything better than me. Everybody loves her more older sister. You're just as pretty as she is. When was the last time you saw her? Maybe when I was 12. Trust me, she's prettier. How come I haven't met her? She's been away at university. Doesn't she usually go skiing for spring break? Apparently, all her fabulous friends with chalets are sick. So she's here, just dying to ruin my life. He's right behind <laughs> this dude! <laughs> Die! Die! Yo! OK, which way did those punks go? Who? Don't play games with me, maggot. I saw them come this way. <laughs> What's that stuff all over your face? Those two covered my walkie with shoe polish. When I get through with them, they'll wish they were never born. <laughs> Shh! Ow! What was that? Uh, what was what, sir? I distinctly heard a noise. I didn't hear anything. Ow! <gasps> Did you mean a noise like that? I heard it too, and it's really annoying. I'd wash that shoe polish off or it might stain your face. What did you say, scum? It's just an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> did you see his face? <laughs> Dude, Jude. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. I can't help it. She makes me crazy. Big Sis is back for the week. <gasps> hot babysitter Courtney's back? Oh, dude, she is so hot. We used to beg our parents to call her. I think I even chipped in my allowance once. Remember the white jean jacket? With the tight ripped jeans? Dude. Oh, yeah. Today's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna have to face the fact that as soon as she gets here, I'm gonna lose all of my friends. 
No, you're not. You're our friend. Best friends. She could never replace you. Right. Who cares if she's hot? Hi. <gasps> Who's your daddy? No. I'm Courtney. <laughs> Great. <sighs> so, since Tiffany was sick and Brandy's beach house was being renovated, I just came back home. Well, I, for one, am glad you did. I think you're really hot. <laughs> Men. This town is kind of beat, but we can still have some fun, right, Flash? Flash? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a story here. Don't you dare tell them, Courtney. Okay, okay. Just a nickname Jen picked up when she was little. So, what's everybody doing today? We have to work, remember? Whoa, I'm gonna be late for my new job. Dudes, why don't you come check out my new gig? Come on! <laughs> okay, fine. All right, all right. Bye, boys. Bye. Later. See you, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Can you believe how long it's been since I've been to this little mall flash? <sighs> I'm going to work. See you later. What about you two? Want to hang out? Huh? I think I heard the clones calling. The low slung cords just came in. You work at the khaki barn? I used to work there. Maybe I'll drop by later. It's a free world. Okay, I guess it's just you and me. <laughs> Looks like. <laughs> She always does this, just waltzes in and steals all my friends. Well, maybe she was just being friendly. She could have changed. Do you even remember Jeremy? The guy from tennis camp? Uh-huh. She stole him from me. He kissed me, and then she stole him because she had bigger boobs. Hmm. <sighs> oh, yeah. Ugh, what a skeezy was. And Samantha, my best friend in grade two, she stole her too. Okay, okay. How could she steal a best friend? She had way better Barbies. <gasps> Do you see what's happening? She's already got you defending her. I'm not. But you have to deal with her. Sisters don't just go away. Unfortunately. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere, no matter how many Barbies she has. I guess you're right. I don't need to worry about you guys. <laughs> Check it out, dudes. I'm a Viking. Grab some sky, Viking. Kiss my axe, cowboy. If you two losers are finished, can we talk about something important? Like, how hot is Jen's sister? She is outstanding, dude. I mean, I remember her being cute, but... Let me try to put it into words. Ah! Fire, dude! <laughs> <laughs> I love older women. Me too. There's something cool about knowing that she used to tuck me into bed in my underoos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were just dumb kids. And now we're men of the world. I've had my heart broken. I've gone on a date with Nikki. I've thrown up in my girlfriend's mouth. Yep, I guess we've all been through the fire and can truly call ourselves men. <laughs> oh, dude! <Sick. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> kind of snuck up on me. <clears throat> Aren't you going to answer it? No way! It's probably that Lydia chick. The one from the battery stop? Yeah, she's hot and all, but she's way too clingy. Like how? Like she's been calling me 10 times a day, showing up everywhere I go. Yeah, hello, Glitter Shots. We put you in the picture and dress you up, funny. Hi, Jonesy. It's me. It's her. Ah, uh, Lydia, hi. How are you? I'm great. I just wish I could see you right now. I wish I could see you too. Your wish is my, my command. command. Huh? Hi! Oh, Lydia! Nice to see you! Oh, I missed you so much! Uh, ah, okay. Every minute we're apart is an eternity. Yeah, right. Um, so I'd love to hang out, but, uh... <clears throat> Can we speed this up, son? My wife and I have been waiting for 15 minutes for our picture. <clears throat> That's right! Hurry up! Right with you! Sorry, I have to get back to work. You know how it is. Yeah, you're dedicated to your art. Well, I, I don't know if I'd call it art. Well, I'll see you later and dream about you until then. Mmm. Oh, thanks, guys. You rock. Anytime, dude. Thanks for shopping at the penalty box. Have a good day. Good work, Masterson. That's a new sales record. MVP all the way. Thanks, Coach. I do my best. Jen! I had no idea your sister was so cool. She took me to the best shops. 
Don't be so modest. You have an eye for halter tops that blows my mind. I do? Really? It's all happening again. So this is where you work. I could never work here. It smells like gym socks, but it totally suits you. You even get to dress like a guy. It's a referee's uniform for your information. The joke in our family was that Jen was the brother we never had. I like sports, so what? Oh, don't get me wrong, sports are cool. <gasps> wow! I was on the team that won the city championship, but your team's good too. Didn't you get to the quarters? Semis. Right. Come on, Kate, let's hit the khaki barn. Okay! Uh, unless you want me to stay. No, go. Catch you later, Flash. Uh. It's coming out of your salary, Masterson. So, you don't know when he'll be back? No, he went out and said specifically to tell you he didn't know when he was going to be back. Huh. Well, give him this gift for me. What is it? It's an anatomically accurate life-size sculpture of my heart. I did it from an MRI I had last year. I would have made a model of my soul to go with it, but it's invisible to magnetic resonance imaging. <sighs> Dude, that is one freaky chick. Welcome to my nightmare. Hey, Nikki. Hey, what's up? Courtney convinced me to take the day off to shop. Aren't you gonna get in trouble? Maybe, but she's a color genius. Where's our friend Jen? She had to stay at work. <gasps> oh, the new hoodies have arrived. So, Jen really admires you, you know. She is my best friend. That's right. And I'm her best friend, and no amount of boobs is going to change that. Wow, that girl's so pretty. How come I don't know her? Look, isn't that Avril Lavigne? Oh my gosh, you wear! It must be hard for you working here. What do you mean? Well, you know, the khaki barn employs child labor in India. Ugh, yeah, it's disgusting. That's what I think is so cool about you. You're working from within the system to change things. Yeah, well, I try to sell as little as humanly possible. Oh, please. Can't you see she's playing you? President, I need a price check on tube socks. Stat. Oops, sounds like they need you at work. Ah, oh, fine. Just remember who your friends are. Well, that was dramatic. We're going for a coffee. When do you get off? I could give you some tips on how to keep your sales down. I kind of make my own hours. Kate, you coming? Wait for me. Flash fell into this huge pile of dog poo. <laughs> she got it all over her dress. <laughs> <laughs> You're really funny and hot. <laughs> hey, Jen, I hear your cousin's wedding was a real stinker. <gasps> you told him the dog poo story? They dragged it out of me. And the Flash story. So you used to run around the backyard naked, huh? Do you ever still do that? <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. Relax, Flash. We've all had embarrassing moments. Don't call me Flash! Ah! So, Jonesy, what's with the outfit? I'm incognito. Has anyone <clears throat> seen Jonesy? I have a present for him. I think I saw him at the arcade. He was looking for you. Really? Thanks! Oh, how can I ever repay you? I know. Let's all get our pictures taken together at Jonesy's store. Not what I had in mind, but that could be fun, too. Sounds good. Let's roll. Coming, Flash? I knew it. It happens every time. All right, I'm the warrior queen. Jonesy, you and Jude are my war chiefs. You stand beside me. Wicked. All right. Nikki, you're my trusty sidekick. Wyatt, you're my scribe. Cool. Oh, I like this. Can I borrow it? What about me? You're the princess. And Flash? Jen. My name is Jen. Sorry, Jen. You get to be the evil swamp hag. No way. Come on, it'll be fun. Forget it. I am not your evil swamp hag. Why are you being such a baby? I am not being a baby. I just don't want to be the evil swamp hag, OK? <clears throat> hmm. Fine. Just give me the costume. That's a great picture. Jen, the look on your face is priceless. Yeah, you really look like you want to kill Queen Courtney. <laughs> Acting's all about motivation. I have an idea. Let's go to XS. The dance club? It just opened. I hear it's hot. 
dude, I heard the bouncers there were all six foot four ex wrestlers. Yeah, and we don't have ID. We're 16, remember? Are you guys gonna let a little thing like ID stop you? Mm. Mm. So uncreative for youngsters. Come on, Courtney's gonna teach you all a little trick. <laughs> You're all officially 21. That is the coolest thing I have ever seen a girl do. You know, if you keep scowling like that, you're gonna get old. <sighs> wow, I really look 21. Hey, 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 awesome. Hey, what if we get caught? I thought you were the chill that one. All right, okay, it's chill. I'm chill. Cool, then let's go shake some booty. Cool. All right. yeah! Court, this has got to stop. You could get them in real trouble. Relax, it'll be fun. You know, fun. Oh, I know how to have fun, but not by sneaking into a bar. You're just jealous that they like me better than you. Oh, that's it. She might be prettier and hotter and cooler, but she's not funner. More fun. No ID, no entry. Must have left it in my other pants. Whoa, told you, bro. That dude could crush you like a can. Maybe we should come back when we're 30, just to be safe. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going in. It worked. Come on, guys. Finally, I've got those maggots right where I want them. Dude, this place is awesome! Sick sound system! Papers seem to be in order. You're all coming with me until the police arrive to arrest you. But I'm really 21. She's my friend. Ask her. Can it, Lemon Girl? Hey, Flash, she fixed my dress. Some friend you are. They aren't really my friends. They're yours. Oh, no. They're our friends now. Hey! And being a friend comes with a certain amount of responsibility. Listen to you. Always mom and dad's little star. Are you kidding me? All they ever talk about is how proud of you they are, winning that stupid beauty pageant, being in university. It's always Courtney, Courtney, Courtney. Yeah, well, that's all gonna change. What do you mean? I'm not home because it's spring break, Jen. I'm home because they kicked me out of school. <gasps> so you flunked out? That's awesome! I mean, 
you know, you're not perfect, after all. I never was. You're the one they're proud of. You work so hard, and now you have these great friends. I'm the one who's jealous of you. Really? Swear. So, are we friends again? <sighs> yeah, but I'm still mad at you for stealing that guy from me. Well, now that everyone knows you have boobs of your own, that shouldn't be a problem. Love ya. Love you, too. Okay, the gang's in trouble. What are we gonna do? I always have a backup plan. Dude, this is like harshing on my mellow. Your whining won't get you anywhere with me, son. You can't keep us here. I demand my phone call. Ooh, good call. Order a pizza. No phone calls until you're officially under arrest. No, for these next few minutes, you're all mine. And I'm going to savor them, like the smell of a jungle foxhole at dawn. Jungly and foxy, with a touch of hole. We've come to get our friends. Nothing. <gasps> this would make a great promo poster for the store, don't you think, Jonesy? Heck yeah! You'll give me the photo if I let them go? Clear their records and it's yours. Out, all of you. Sweet. Can I keep this as a souvenir? Out, soldier! <gasps> Pleasure doing business with you. Never mess with the Masterson sisters. <laughs> Where did you get that? I found it in the back files at Glitter Shots. Yep, I don't think that rent a copy bugging us for a while. I can't believe I almost got arrested. Again! So where's the freaky chick, dude? I let her down easy. She had a severe case of Jonesy-itis. Jonesy! Where have you been? Uh, I broke up with you, remember? That doesn't mean we can't still go out. Actually, it does. <gasps> Let's have our picture taken together. Uh, let me think about that. Mmm, no. Plus, I got fired from the picture place. They found the fake ID files. Come on! It'd be really romantic. Okay, that's enough. Who are you? She's my new girlfriend. Girlfriend? Girlfriend? Uh... Oh, yeah. I, I'm his girlfriend. He's my man. <laughs> you two don't look like a couple. We are. We go for walks, we, uh, eat things together, and we, um, we, uh... Oh. There. Now do you get the picture? You don't have to be rude about it. Nikki, I... You want to go out to food with me? Dinner? <laughs> I'll think about it. Uh. Whoa. I think there's a lot about chicks that I don't understand. Got that right. Do you guys realize we've all been working here for almost a year? Ugh, there'd better be life beyond Khaki Barn, that's all I can say. Oh, come on, it hasn't been that bad. And this summer's gonna be awesome. Yep, another summer napping at Stick It sounds pretty sweet. Have you given up all pretense of doing any actual work? You got it. Found the next door you're gonna get fired from yet, Jonesy? Actually, I have. Brace yourselves, people. Taj Mahal video has just opened in the mall. No way. Don't tease me, dude. I tease you not. And employees get 50% off everything in the store. Yeah, it's true. My brother works at the East End store, and they have this sick employees-only movie theater. It's like a little taste of heaven right here in the mall. And I'm gonna go get me some of that. Have you guys seen Wyatt today? Not yet. I'm getting kind of worried about him. Serena just dumped Wyatt for Chad, and Wyatt's not taking it very well. He's kind of... Obsessed. Mm. Oh, stay talking day about a arena say. Hey, how's it going, dude? <sighs> I just don't get it. What does she see in that guy? Oh, man, are we going to go there again? I can't help it. I miss her. We better get studying. Oh, right. We'll be over at Grindy if anyone's looking for us. <laughs> Ow! Oh, no! Are you okay? Nice swing, girl! I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, it's okay. It's just my eye. Grind me. That's where we used to hang out. <sighs> Better get to work. Is she gonna be there? Serena? Yeah, she's the manager. 
I can't believe you're still working together. Seriously, maybe that's why it's so hard for you to get over her. Especially with that Chad dude. I'm fine. Really, I can handle it. Wyatt, um, what's up? Nothing. Just, uh, wondering if you, uh, wanted a coffee. No, thanks. Yeah, I dig a coffee. Hook me up. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast You gotta make the good Times last. I'm sixteen, sixteen. Gotta make the good times last. Yeah, hey man. Um, do you have that song, the one where the girl? Uh, stomps on the guy's heart and um, uh, squishes it into the ground. Oh, that song. Hold on. Excuse me, Serena. This customer would like to find some song about a girl stomping a guy's heart. And I thought since you're so good at that, that you might be able to help him. Have a nice day. Kristen, Kirsten, <gasps> what's up, girls? Jonesy, what are you doing here? Same thing as you, applying for a job. You can't tell Chrissy we're here. This is like khaki treason. I thought you liked working at Khaki Barn. We love Khaki Barn. But we heard that you can get so much more popular if you work at this store. Check another point for the Taj. Plus, all the hottest guys shop here for movies. And uncheck that point. Later, girls. Sorry, dude. Hate it when that happens. Just give me a beef stick kebab. There you go, man. And it's half price because of the popcorn on the forehead thing. Whatever. <laughs> How's it look? Ooh. Ew. I don't know what's grosser. The black eye or the fact that he's got raw meat on his face. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry! Oh no, does it hurt? Uh, it's not that bad, really. Oh! I'm just gonna have the mall nurse take a look at it. Guys, this is so bad. That's the second thing I've done to him today. Calm down, it was just an accident. Yeah, but I get so clumsy when I like a guy. And I really like this one. He's gonna dump me any minute. Just relax. A guy would never dump a girl over a little coffee burn and a black eye. Yeah, but that's not all I've done. I tripped him in our chemistry class, and last night I accidentally opened my car door right onto his... Uh, kiwis. Ouch. Ooh. I know, right? I'm so getting dumped. <sighs> I need a hot chocolate. Do you really think he'd dump her? She squished his kiwis with a car door. Yeah, but that's not that big a deal. I mean, he's okay now. Trust me, guys do not forget that kind of thing. But dumper? Really? All right, there's a scientific way to figure this out. Come on. Wow, I'm glad I don't have kiwis. I hear you, sister. Wake up! <laughs> These men are from the Board of Public Health. You've violated section blah, 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 mall security act, blah, 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 minimum standards, blah, 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 health risk. Are you reading me, punk? Wow, those suckers are really hard to kill. This young man was so disturbed by the incident that he fainted right here in the food court. You fainted? <laughs> Shut up! It's gross, man! Officer, I think you'll want to see this. 
Basta! Son, I haven't seen a room that disgusting since my days. <clears throat> Cleaning the boot camp latrines! Well, who is supposed to clean it? Because whoever they were, they clearly did not do a very good job. You were supposed to clean it, soldier! Okay, sheesh. All you had to do was tell me. As of this minute, Stick It is officially closed for business. Right. Until when? Until these white dudes clean it up? Forever! End of the line! Party's over! You'll never work in food services again! Capiche? Hmm. What am I gonna do without Stick It? I had it so good there. No boss. No ugly uniform. And apparently, no mop. So wait, you never cleaned that place? Nuh-uh. But you handled the food safely, right? I mean, you didn't let it come in contact with anything dirty. I live by the three second rule. If it's on the ground less than three seconds, it's cool. <gasps> One chicken looking Stick It. You got it. Mmm, thanks. Mmm, ow. Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I just threw up a bit in my mouth. Jude, that is so gross! Okay, okay. I got fired, didn't I? Ugh, why don't you join Jonesy at the Taj? I don't know, dude. Stick it was like my dream job. They had that private screening room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that I could deal with. Later! Hey, dude. Mad lineup. Yo, I heard you got canned from Stick It. You never forget your first time. Thanks, dude. The buzz around this place is awesome. Check it out. These two are defects from underground video across the hall. Defects, Jude! Hey, I can't wait to work somewhere where you can be nice to customers. You weren't allowed before? Obviously, you've never been to underground video. Did you see the Help Wanted sign in the window? Huh. Man, I pity the poor suckers who take our old jobs. The chick behind me said that you get to set your own hours. I predict I'll fit in well here. Jude! Dude! Guys, we're taking a poll. Would you dump a girlfriend just because she answered the phone yellow? I would. It's annoying. Told you. OK, do you two mind? We're trying to get our interview on here. Fine. OK, what about bad hair? Huh. Don't even get me started. OK. How's my resume look? Your resume's four pages long? I've worked at a lot of places. For one day. Your point? <sighs> um, excuse me. Would you recommend this album for my teen daughter? Definitely, she'll love it. I wouldn't trust her opinion if I were you. She'll probably say she loves it, and then turn around and say she loves some other one more. Hmm. Wyatt? What are you doing? Rearranging the singles. They were already alphabetical. Yeah, well, now they're random. It's a nice metaphor for life, don't you think? You think you got something great, like Five Star Planet? And instead, you've got Jack Squat and the Losers. But as the only single person working here, I think I'm uniquely qualified to organize the singles. Wyatt, I know you're hurt, but you've got to get it together or I'm going to have to do something. I'm fine, really. Okay. I feel so bad. Does it hurt? <clears throat> it's okay, babe. You know, second degree burns, no biggie. Oh, oh. Riot? I'd like to dedicate this song, I Hope You Choke, to Serena and Chad. The two people I like the least in the whole world right now. Congrats, guys. Good job. Oh, this is bad. We need to talk. Fine. Talk. This isn't working out. You're freaking out the customers and totally embarrassing me. I'm sorry, Wyatt. I have to let you go. What? I can't hear you. I said, you're, you're fired. fired. <gasps> oh.
Ouch. <gasps> Next. <gasps> oh, hey, Blade, Christo, you're the new managers? Jonesy, didn't we fire you before? Oh, well, you know, past is past. <laughs> uh, about that fainting thing? It's our little secret. This is so unfair. This store isn't nearly as cool as they say it is. Yeah, and I just want you all to know that dude fainted today. <laughs> oh man, I really wanted that job too. This bites. Okay, 78% of the people polled say wearing the same underwear two days in a row equals dump city. So 22% think that it's okay? Yuck. Probably the same ones who buy that three second rule. Hey, did you get the jobs? No, dudes didn't even let us apply. What'd you do to that guy anyway? There may have been a stick it with a cockroach involved. I can't believe this just happened. Yellow. You won't believe what just happened. Wyatt got fired. Wyatt got fired? Oh no! He's not taking it very well, guys. I think he's in shock. Oh man, now all three of us have no jobs. Not necessarily. Caitlin, tell Wyatt to come down to Underground Video. What? We can't work there. Not after the dream that was Taj Mahal Video. No one else is hiring right now, boys. Your choice. Uh... Wyatt, they're hiring at Underground Video. I don't care. You'd be working with the guys. Come on. We are not gonna let this girl get you down. Fine, whatever. You're a really good friend, you know that? Stop! We have to have at least three feet of room between us at all times. <laughs> that might make it hard for me to kiss you. I'm serious. Do you see? People get dumped all the time, and then they get fired. And it can all be over some little thing. Only this thing is really big. I really don't know what you're talking about. OK. I'm really afraid you'll break up with me for being so clumsy and destructive. Don't you see? It would take much more than a burn, a bump, a black eye, and what happened last night to make me give you up. You're the greatest girl I ever met. Really? Really. Now come here. I have to break up with him. But I thought you really liked him. That was before I knew he was the worst kisser on the face of the earth. I felt like a postage stamp. Ew. Oh, his tongue was everywhere. I still have residual drool on my chin. What the? Haven't you kissed him before? No, not a serious kiss, just a peck. I have to break up with him. The sooner, the better. No, you can't dump him for that. He didn't break up with you, and you almost put him in the hospital. Maybe he just never learned how to kiss. What if you could teach him? Hey, that's not a bad idea. Know any kissing experts personally? No, but there's a couple romantic comedies playing. Maybe if he sees how it's done, he'll get it. Talent is a keeper, and I can't abandon him now. Told you so. Okay, let's do this. Hey man, we're here about the jobs. I said we're here to apply for the positions. I heard you, man. We're not hiring. There was a sign in your window. Yeah, that was more of a joke than anything. But we all just got fired and we really need new jobs. <clears throat> Ow! <sighs> what are your qualifications? Don't touch that. Check these out. Okay, I'm feeling saucy today. I'll hire you and you. Awesome! Why them? I don't know. Why not? Well, can I at least hang out here for a while? Free country, dude. <sighs> this chick dumped him and then fired him. 
Wow. Sucks to be you, man. Thanks. This is the constantly evolving Wayne's Picks wall. Excuse me. In a minute. You do not touch the Wayne's Picks wall. You do not question the Wayne's Picks wall. In fact, don't even say Wayne's Picks wall. Cool. Where's my wall? Whoa, slow way down there, man. You don't just get a wall. You have to earn a wall. Um, well, I'm kind of in a... Hold your hose, sir. I'll be right with you. But let's say purely hypothetically speaking that you each got to pick three favorites. What would you pick? I really just want to buy this. <sighs> what about parts two and three? You can't buy just part one, okay? They were written as a trilogy. They were filmed, nay, conceived as a trilogy. Taking only one of them home would be like leaving two of your newborn triplets at the hospital. Would you do that? Would you abandon two of your babies? You know what? You don't deserve to own this movie. Come back when you've given it some thought. Whoa. That was kind of harsh. It was the right thing to do. But you didn't make the sale. Some things are more important. So then why do you carry the DVDs individually? Why not sell them only as a trilogy? Because some other stores have no principles or loyalty to the art of cinema and will sell individual parts of a trilogy to a customer whether it's good for them or not! Think if we kissed up across the hall they'd let us work there? Not a chance. I love your soft, dry kisses. Wow. Look at the way he kisses. It looks so soft, so gentle, and so dry. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah, that gives me an idea. Oh. Ew, I'm sorry, I can't do this. You kiss like a golden retriever. Huh, not bad. They're eclectic, original, unexpected. You can stay. How'd you do that? I just picked covers that I thought looked cool. You picked top M16s. Duh, it's a classic. Yeah. It offends me that this DVD is even in this store. Take it off, off! It can't be that bad. It's part of your inventory. It was there as a test. Any movie that contains men playing beach volleyball against each other qualifies for instant disqualification. Come on, man, what's with you? May I remind you that it grossed over 200 million at the box office? <gasps> Oh, you did not just give me the hand. You suck. Oh, I haven't heard that one before. Quick, name your top three films of all time. Uh, Guilty with an Explanation, uh, Never Swim Alone, and Monk of the Green Dragon. Not bad. I could do time with you. You're hired. Sweet. We'll all be working together. Oh, sorry, dude. I forgot. You're fired. What? Oh, well. I didn't really want to work here anyway. I wanted to work at Taj Mahal Video. Shocker. Check it out! They're having a party! <sighs> Sup, girls? I broke up with Talon. What's with you? Well, I got fired. Again. Wow, rough day all around. So much for a fabulous new job and new year at the mall. At least we all have each other. <laughs> uh oh, sorry. Was that touching moment for real? <laughs> Uh -huh. <sighs> Happy one year anniversary, guys! Ugh, this is so lame. I'll take hers. No, no, I'll have some. Lame cake tastes the same as unlame cake. <sighs> Do you guys think I was being too harsh when I dumped Talon? No way! He's a lousy kisser, I'd fire him. Yeah, but he's. So cute. Talon, wait! Talon! Oh, man! I've been thinking, and maybe I shouldn't have... Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, icing's hard to get out of khakis. Aw, that's it. I'm gonna die alone. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll always have us. Okay, so this is fun with Fungi. The red one is nice to beat you. And you've got crazy curry tofu. Wicked cool names. I know. I'm like an inventor. But maybe giving these to your friends to test isn't such a good idea. 
Why? They love food. They're usually broke, so they're not that picky. Cool. And so that's how I got the idea to put the beets through the blender. Have you ever seen worms in a blender? Does she so ever stop talking? Gross. Never. So come on, guys, give it a try. It's free, dudes. Hey, what's that? <laughs> what? Nothing. I, I thought I saw the Easter Bunny. <gasps> ah! What are you doing, Wyatt? Shh. Hiding from Serena. Check this out. Three-pointer. Ah! You've got to work on your free throws. That is just so sad. Look at the bright side. At least it wasn't a chili bowl, dude. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together in a place where we belong. I'm 16, starting to find my way. Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today. Thank God I'm on my own for the first time. I'm 16, life is sweet when you're growing up so fast. You gotta make the good times last. Sixteen, sixteen. Gotta make the good times last. Wyatt, man, do the words shred of dignity mean anything to you? Talk to me when someone rips your heart out and steps on it. Ouch. You might want to consider getting off the bitter train, Wyatt. Nikki's right. All this pent-up anger's not good for you. Totally. Hey, have you had a coffee yet? No. And why not? Because Serena was at Grind Me with Charmaine, and I couldn't go in. I'll go to Grind Me with you, Wyatt. You need your coffee. Maybe I should just join a monastery. Then I wouldn't have to worry about girls. Okay, now you're talking freaky talk. I'm off to work. Let's go. This is cool, man. I feel like a doctor. Do I get a stethoscope? No. Now, you'll have to take the pharmaceutical oath. Repeat after me. I promise to keep all customer information confidential. Right, that's cool. I can dig it. Okay, say it. Say it. Okay, I promise to keep all customer information confidential. Good, good. I'll be in the back. Can I help you? No, I mean, maybe. Don't be shy. Discretion is my middle name. I've taken the oath. I know, but I think what, what you think I'm what, what, what. Hey, Mr. Goldstein, what do we give people for really serious constipation? <gasps> <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to just come up with me? Serena's not here. Yeah, but Charmaine's her best friend. She probably hates me now, too. She does not hate you. They're all sisters. Hey, girl, what's up? Hey, can I get a double tall cappuccino, extra hot, extra foam? Double tall cappuccino, extra hot, extra foam, huh? That sounds a lot like someone else's usual order. Coming right up. You know, he can come in and order it himself. I won't bite. That's what I told him. He's really taking this whole breakup thing hard. Thanks. You can order from her from now on. Really? Yes. See, I told you she wouldn't hold it against you. <gasps> she stiffed me on the foam. She what? The foam. I asked for extra foam and she gave me less than normal. So, okay, maybe she just forgot. Or maybe there was a foam shortage. There was no foam shortage. This is payback for yelling at Serena. Uh, she's getting back at you with foam? I need another cappuccino so I can do a foam comparison test. Well, don't look at me. I've got to get back to work. Hmm. Okay, 
Wyatt's really losing it. Yeah, yesterday he went postal on the pizza guy. Our new hair color is so fetched. So glad we went brunette. Yeah. Eee! Don't lean too close. We can't let Coach Halder know we're dating, remember? 50 push-ups? Right, so how's your friend Wyatt? We're trying to get him to cheer up, but nothing's working. Wow, that's a real... <gasps> bummer. Hello, over here. What, what? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh what, what was I saying? What was that? Uh, what, what was what? That, you like her. No, I don't. I, I mean, she's cute, but... Oh, what, because she's blonde? No, I, I mean, I, I don't know. So you don't like blondes? No, 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 I like blondes. So you were flirting with her? No, I... Help. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> So the guy's obsessing over foam. Wow, I thought I had issues. Hey, if you're not gonna drink that, I'll have it. Can I take a break? I don't know, man, we're pretty busy here. All right, fine. Don't ever say I'm not a great boss, Kay. Hey, if that were alive, you could've killed it. Think you can, you know, keep an eye on him? Sure. If he makes a run for it, I'll just give him the sleeper <laughs> grip. Hey! <laughs> what? There you are. I told you not to run off like that. Sorry. I'm sorry, sir. He's really into measuring things. 25% foam. I knew it! She only gave me 12%! Okay, sit down. So I think I know what your problem is. I have a problem? Yeah. You need a healthy way to cleanse your aura without bugging the crap out of all your friends. Okay, what do you think I should do? Hey, Wyatt! Hey, what's up? It's the hottest spoken word poetry place around, and I scored you a spot in the lineup. Oh, no. No way. Welcome to Express of Yourself Night at Grimey. <gasps> our first poet is one of our regulars, Coach Halder. <clears throat> Rotting the bench! Hard, cold wood under my back. Feels kind of like pavement after a while. Or just a hard desk chair. I didn't make the cut. I'm not good enough. Put me in, Coach! Defense! Defense! De <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is a brand new poet. Let's have some snaps for Wyatt Williams. I don't think I'm ready for this. It'll be good for you. You need to get it out. <gasps> Just think about Serena. Hot record store girl with the fly jeans. You suck! I hate your stupid jeans, and I hate your new boyfriend's stupid hair! You made me look like a jerk, you ditched me, left me, and you suck! I wish I'd never met you! Ah! All right! Wow, it's like you just threw up your soul, and we all got to see it! Why do I feel so, so light? You just let all of your getting dumped baggage out of your system! I have to do this again, but don't tell the gang. They just laugh. Okay, pinky swear. And brought me a bag full of goldfish. But then this other guy cut them all in half except for one. And I named him Left Fin because he had his right fin cut off. And he just swam in these big circles. Oh, hey, Wyatt! Hey, guys. Don't you just love Fridays? Uh, are you okay? Totally. Sorry, Star. Finish your story. Okay. So I was having this party. Oh, no. Look at the time. Aren't you guys going to be late for work? All right. Gotta go. Bye. Come by later. I think I figured out a really good new meal. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. Later. Okay. What is with Wyatt? He actually sounded happy. Exactly. Something's up. You don't just go from miserable to happy. Maybe he found a new girlfriend. Well, I'm gonna find out. Who's up for some undercover action? I'm in. Uh, I would, but I've gotta get back to blonde and blonder, who are now brunettes for some reason. 
I guess I should really go to work. Okay, it's you and me, Caitlin. Nikki, watch the store. Nikki, pull <gasps> the shirts. Ugh, why do I always feel like the ugly stepsister? Oh, can I answer this one? Oh, bite me. Hey, Coach Alder. Just wanted to say good job last night. Angry jilted guy. You gonna be there tonight? Got a little ditty about golf. I was going to perform. Yeah, I think I will. What could Wyatt and Coach Alder possibly have to talk about? Jen, <gasps> is that you? Um, uh, hi. What did you do to your hair? Nothing. Why? Do you like it? I love it! But you didn't have to go blonde just for me. I didn't. I mean... Come on! Huh? Uh, oh, gotta run. Bye! Hello. <laughs> Yo. crossing guard when I was crossing lover's lane? Where was the guard when I got mowed down by a sedan named woman? You should have honked your horn, woman! I didn't see you coming, woman! Bam! <gasps> Wyatt! Oh. Wyatt is doing poetry? This I have got to see. Jonesy, you can't say anything. There's obviously a reason Wyatt didn't want us to find out. Find out about what? He's reciting poetry at Grind Me! <laughs> oh man, none of you were supposed to know about this. I didn't tell anyone. It's my fault. I just wanted to know what was going on with you. And you didn't trust me to tell you when I was ready? Hey guys, tell her what? That Wyatt's in a slam poetry contest tomorrow. Oops. All right, so you all know. Let the ribbing begin. Forsooth, where doth I start? Can we come watch? No, please guys, just let me do this on my own. But we want to support you. You wouldn't be into it. How do you know? It's just that it kind of takes a certain amount of maturity. So we're not grown up enough? We can be mature. I'm not really mature, but I kind of like to see it. Oh, don't bother, Jude. Obviously, Wyatt here thinks it's way above us. No, I just don't think you can handle it, that's all. Oh, that's it. I don't even want to go to this stupid poetry thing, but I'm going, baby. Fine. It's at seven sharp. Do you think you guys can watch without laughing? Are you kidding? This is gonna be hilarious. Jonesy, you can't laugh, no matter how funny it is. Jen's right. Now who has a good technique for not laughing? Okay, I clench my teeth together really tight, stare straight ahead, and count to ten. I just think of dead kittens. Ew! Ew. What? You're not laughing, are you? <laughs> hey, what smells so good? My newest creation! Who wants one? So what were those, anyway? Colon Blow Bean Burritos. Yeah, you might want to consider renaming them. Beans are really good for your digestive tract. Oh no, beans make me fart. <laughs> Not me! Thanks to all those step classes I do, I've got the butt muscles of Barishnikov. Ugh, these are so itchy. Why don't you take yours off? I can't. I made this big fuss about how Charlie was staring at blondes, and now he thinks I dyed my hair for him. And he... Okay, uh, can we get back on topic here? Wyatt, poetry, no laughing. Right. Pretend we're listening to poetry. Constipated librarians. Well, we have to get it under control before tonight, or we're dead. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 Remember, do not make fun of anyone until we're at least 30 steps away. I don't care if you have to bite your tongues off. Do it for Wyatt! What is cool? 
that elusive, evasive, elastic entity. Fluid like the water, man. The water in the pool, man. I'd dive in, but I'd probably drown because my dad never taught me to swim, man. I leave you here with this. Who cares? Shock and awe. An ode to jungle combat. You think you can escape from reality. I am reality. Do what you're told, soldier, or the machine breaks down. We break down. It all goes downhill, soldier. Run! Dank, dark, swampy prison. Beer is good. Smell that beer! Now! Run, soldier, run! That didn't make me want to laugh. Okay, uh, next up is Julie performing My Womanhood. I am woman! <laughs> I prowl through the warm night, hunting the taste of your lips on my lips. Unleash my inner woman. Make me her. Powerful stuff. Now please welcome our newest regular, Wyatt. <clears throat> Who said you could dump me like that? Who said you could treat me like that? Who do you think I am, woman? Now the mall no longer feels like home. Now your friend gives me half as much foam. Someday you'll pay the price. Someday your life won't seem so nice. Cause you're a taker, woman. You're a nasty taker. Wyatt, we are so sorry. Yeah, it was all Caitlin's fault. Yeah, what happened, Barishnikov? I thought you had buns of steel. Don't blame her. It was the bean burritos. Are you all through? Good. I don't want to hear anything any of you has to say. Uh-oh. You promised you wouldn't laugh. I tried, but I couldn't hold it in. I'm never going to be able to face those people again. I don't think it's your face they're worried about. It's all my fault. They said you couldn't put five different beans in one burrito, but I had to go and, like, push the envelope. Whoa there, bean girl. There might be a way for you to make it up to us and to Wyatt. Hmm. Hello? We're in here. Hey, guys, what's up? We couldn't leave the store. I think you're taking this I love khaki barn thing a little too far. No, I mean, we can't leave. It's too humiliating. Don't look at us. <laughs> We're hideous. <laughs> oh, wow. We must have overprocessed. You have to help us fix this. We'll do anything you want. Anything? OK. I want the whole rest of the weekend off, paid. Done. And I want you to say I'm the most stylish girl you've ever met. Fine. OK, OK. You're, You're the, the most, most stylish, stylish girl, girl we've ever met. met. And you wish you were me. And, and we, we wish we were you. you. But sadly, we're just a couple of fashion sheep. But, but sadly, sadly, we're, we're just, just a couple, couple of fashion sheep. sheep. All right, then. Hang tight. <laughs> Wicked wigs, Nikki. Thanks. We look so fat! Okay, okay, poem for Wyatt. Let's focus. Right. Hey, Jen, what's with making your boyfriend pick up your chick stuff at the pharmacy? What are you talking about? Fashionable woman magazine and a box of tampons? Talk about turning him into a wuss. But I didn't... Jen, you're a brunette again. I suppose you're disappointed? No, I... At least I didn't cheat on you. I didn't cheat on you. Oh, yeah? Who were the fashionable woman magazine and tampons for, huh? My mom. Ew. Dude, that's even worse than your girlfriend making you get them. You told her what I bought? I thought you were cheating on her. So you're not cheating on me? No. Do you always jump to conclusions? Uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. So, are we okay then? No, Jonesy. You broke the pharmaceutical oath. You're fired. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, are we ready? All set. Okay, you guys go get Wyatt. We'll be waiting at the rendezvous. We have a sick surprise for you. And if you don't come with us right now, I'm gonna kick your butt. Oh, for the love of Pamela Anderson, will you just get this over with? Wyatt, you forgive them. You guys, whatever. You seem sorry. Good enough for me, everyone copacetic. Yes. 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 Good. Now buzz off. We're sorry we laughed. Caitlin's butt just had to blast. If you take us back as your friends, We'll, we'll never, never come, come to, to one, one of your poetry, poetry readings, readings again. again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> nice try, guys. That was terrible, but I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. So you forgive us? Yeah, sure. Oh. Hey, you're the fart girl! <laughs> Not boring, cause Jonesy's here to get you going. Jonesy? Ah! Oh, sorry. A big shout out to all the Jonesy's hmm? mall shopping, bag toting, bargain hunting peeps. Ow! And 20 hotties out there oh. buying lingerie. Oh. Get your lovely Ouchie. selves up to the security oh. office Ow. on level two. Hmm. Jonesy will give you his professional opinion. Oh no. Yo! That's right, it's time for a mall meltdown with the one and only Jones Meister. <laughs> Dude, it is you! I thought the announcer dude sounded human today. Thanks, man. Check it out. I got her aptitude test back. Shall we round up the posse? Allow me, dude. Nikki, Wyatt, Jen, get your butts to the lemon. The two tests are in. And for the rest of you out there, listen up. Here comes the base now. Uh, uh. Let's bolt, man. I don't want to miss any lingerie fittings while I'm gone. Uh-oh. Why are you polluting my office, scum? I'm on mic duty now, Chief. Looks like we're neighbors. <laughs> Back away from the desk. You were here! Everything outside this line is enemy territory. Capiche? But how am I supposed to go to the bathroom? You hold it! The mall PA system is not a toy! It could save your miserable life! You go tinkle, pal, in your trousers. Yes, sir! That dude does not share well with others. No kidding. The lingerie fitting must be around here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Sweet! <laughs> Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast You gotta make the good times last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last Let me squeeze you. Mm. I mean, help you. Come back. You can have this one for free. Ah, another satisfied male customer. Looks like you need these. Wow, you really did need them. Where were you? Do you know how hard it was for me to get away from work? Hmm, real hard, I'm guessing? Yes, 
I have five customers waiting, I'm on cash, and I'm supposed to restock the- Whoa, whoa, whoa. You need to work less. Your attention, dudes and dudettes. Today is a momentous occasion. I hold in my hand the results of our high school aptitude test. It is my duty as the envelope, dude. Tick tock, dude. Before we open these envelopes and learn what the multiple choice gods have chosen for us. That does it. Dude. Ah! Bummer. There you go, little dudes. Can we please have the results now? Please, 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 please. Yes! Two careers, both rock. Olympic snowboarder or running my own snowboard gear company. Say my name, say my name. Good thing I didn't say professional dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Food critic, this is awesome. I get to eat anywhere I like and get someone else to pay the bill. Whoa, product spokesmodel, sweet. What's a product spokesmodel? You get to look pretty and tell everyone about how great your deodorant is. I'm down with that. I enjoy looking pretty and I'm a daily deodorant user. What do you get, Nikki? <gasps> Retail specialist? It's okay. These tests aren't 100% accurate. Maybe it won't be so bad. I'm gonna be a travel writer. Uh, what? Did someone say travel writer? Sorry, Nikki. That's what Caitlin's gonna be. <laughs> You're still gonna be a retail specialist. <laughs> wow, that had to hurt. I feel nothing. I have never written anything. I don't even like English class that much. <sighs> Those career people must see something in me that I don't. All I see is black, a long black hallway. Oh wait, there's a cliff. I'm out of here. Aren't you gonna read yours? Why, so I can get depressed about some lousy office job? No thanks, later. <gasps> Good call, Jonesy. This I've gotta see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back to work, later. Later. Oh, I can't wait to start writing my first article. Yep, words are power, check these out. The ambiance of the big squeeze is passable, but the lemon smoothies are lacking in character considering the price point? That lemon smoothie was free! Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Jude, wait up! This DVD of the Ranch Hand's Revenge skipped, you say? Yeah, but it was only when the Ranch Hand was about to kill the bad guy. No biggie. No biggie? You missed the pivotal scene. That's a complete travesty. If I were you, I would demand free rentals for a year. You would? Absolutely. You got hoes. Stand up for yourself, for Pete's sake. What are you, a little girl? Oh, uh, OK. I demand free rentals for a year. Oh, uh, sure. Now you're outraged. Do you have any spine at all? You know what? You make me sad. You're banned from the store. Get out. Uh, I- Out! I'm being banned for not complaining? That Wayne is one moody dude. Dude. No kidding. We've got to watch our step. If Wayne fires us, we're out of employment options. Hey, Jude. <laughs> hey, cover for me, bro. Done. <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> Do you know who Oshitake Yoblogato is? Of course you don't. He's a legendary director. This is my shrine to him. I see. That is a copy of his masterpiece, The 77th Samurai. It's very rare. I only watch it when things get totally twisted. Never touch it unless I say so, which I won't. If I die, burn it. Okay? Be warned. I made the last fool who touched it swim with the fishes. You whacked him? <laughs> Oh, man. I just dunked him in the aquarium's goldfish pond. Come on, let's get lattes. You look like you need one. Ah, uh, I love the smell of toddler puke and sawdust in the morning. It smells like... The food court. Board boy, you're in charge. I won't let you down, boss. See that you don't. You two are still on double secret probation. So will you lend it to me? 
you gotta understand that Board Warriors 3 stays with me at all times to protect me from wipeouts and vampires. But I can make you a copy. Cool. <laughs> Hello, tired old VHS tape. You're gonna make Star one happy little lady. Welcome to the khaki barn. We heard the news. What news? That you're going to be a retail specialist too. Uh, two? That's what we all got on our aptitude tests. No kidding. Okay, we totally get it now. You've been in denial all this time, and that's why you were such a big, <gasps> big party pooper. But we're totally cool with you now, sister. I am not your sister. <coughs> Ugh. Sister, sisters, we are khaki sisters. Boo, boo, boo. But the Stimulate is a way better morning brew. It ignites the palate. It's for sissies. Now the Chai Choco Charmer starts your day on a low charge so you can arc to caffeine overload gradually. Oh yeah? Well, you're looking at a future food critic. I'm getting the impression that you want to get your butt fired. I'll, uh, get back to work now. Do that. I'll just hang here and finish my superior beverage. <sighs> Whatever. What do you mean? You taped over the video in the statue? That is Wayne's favorite movie. He's gonna go postal. We need a plan. Right. Hide. <sighs> and the gold medal is going to Jen Masterson. Excuse me, miss. Miss? Hello? Excuse me, sir. Can someone help me? I'm in great need of this help. This isn't the Jen Masterson super-focused salesperson I've come to know and be slightly freaked by. You know, Jonesy's got a point. Coach Halder's been working me way too hard. You're taking career advice from Jonesy now? Well, it's not like I'm gonna be a retail clerk forever. Thanks a lot. <coughs> Masterson! Bad posture! Ten minutes in the penalty box for slouching. Nobody likes a sloucher. <sighs> I've sunk to a new low at the barn. The clones are trying to adopt me. Ugh, it's gruesome. Hey, Wyatt. He over only copy of the you did what? He taped over Wayne's only copy of the 77th Samurai. What's the 77th Samurai? Only Wayne's favorite movie of all time. And arguably one of cinema's finest moments. He's gonna kill us. Or worse, he could fire us. Just put some other tape in its place. I'll be right over. Uh, Jen, your penalty's not over yet. What am I doing in here? <laughs> Yo, okay, calm down. We'll think of something. Awesome. This pacing is making me dizzy. And not a good dizzy. There's a good dizzy? <laughs> Dude. Wyatt, come with me. There must be another copy of that movie somewhere. This 77th Samurai? Never heard of it. Which means it must suck. <sighs> what do you mean you never heard of it? The 77th Samurai is one of cinema's finest moments. Come on. Look, the Samurai fan club has a list of copies. Ooh, there's one right here at the mall at... Super terrific happy sushi? Masterson! Halftime coffee is over! Hut, hut, hut! Guess you better get back to work. Nah, they'll survive without me. Great. I'll tell you the good news. I wonder how my old friends Christo and Blade are doing. So, <laughs> who wants to see my advanced preview screener of Starship to Mars? <laughs> Heads up, mall people. There's an 80% off sale at Taj Mahal Video starting now. Huh? Get there while the going's hot and leave with a trunk full of flicks. What sale? Good. <gasps> Let's have a meeting of all future khaki retail specialists. Uh, no. Hey, Nikki. Do you know where the 40 pocket cargo pants are? No. Do you know where my life went? Oh, still bummed about your aptitude test? No, no. I love the sensation of being smothered by a large khaki pillow. How's the writing going? 
Oh, I haven't written anything yet, but finding the right pair of cargos will totally get me in the mood. <sighs> Follow me. Oh, and I need a Terry hoodie. We've got some great ones in baby blue. <gasps> Found another copy of the movie. <laughs> Don't he? You there? Security report to the first aid tent on level two to patch up some victims of the Taj Mahal stampede. Mm. <laughs> and to get you there is a sweet remix of one of Jonesy's favorites. Oh yeah. You are so gonna get fired. To borrow 77 samurai, one must prove himself worthy. You must slay bacteria. Um, how do we do that? You come here on your bricks and mop out fish locker. Ugh. Jude, get over here. Now. Okay, mopping fish is way beyond the call of duty for this girl. Later. Just in time for fish locker detail. Huh? <clears throat> wow. Love to, bro. But I've been thinking of myself as more of a spokesmodel dude these days. Ah, spokesmodel. Hey, hey, hey. Who's into raw fish? <laughs> Man, being a spokesfish sucks. While the sushi is fresh, the presentation lacks a certain flair. Uh, so! Less scribble! More sweat! <gasps> Maka no teenager! Hmm. What have you written? Mm, nothing. I'm drawing a total blank. <laughs> What's that smell? Hey, guys. What's up? Why, it's been on sushi duty. Oh, ew! Back! Back! A little further! Can I borrow some lemons to get the stink off? Why don't you both try to do some writing? We can go hang out at a restaurant and hog a table all day! Okay, but only if you de-stink yourself first. Security, witnesses have spotted a kid peeing in the main fountain. Security, please report to the food court for puke spillage. Security, there's a couple making out in the photo booth. Okay, I'm ready to write. Mm It'll come. How's this? <clears throat> the soup is cafeteria quality, and the waitress has a charm of a linebacker with a groin injury. Uh... Huh? Oh, hi. <clears throat> hey, I thought of something to write. I found the flow. Thanks, Wyatt. Flow is good. Fractures are bad. Uh... Nikki? Nixter? She's definitely out of it. You said Nixter, and she didn't belt you. Even after 40 years, I still love a good sweater sale, Nixter. <gasps> Let's all get matching ones again. <laughs> Nixter? Nickykins! Nickarama Ding Dong! <gasps> ah! Nikki? Are you all right? This can't be happening. How did I end up with retail specialist? There must have been a glitch in your aptitude test. <gasps> Jude! He must have switched yours and Caitlin's results. You should have gotten travel writer. <gasps> That's it! Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Now, should I, should I, should I burst Caitlin's bubble first or kill Jude? Decisions, decisions. <gasps> That totally hot guy just walked away with a lemonade, unharmed. She didn't even check out his butt. Hey, guys! I finally got my writing game on! I'm doing a piece about my trip to Banff last summer. No, oh, we can't tell her about the mix-up. Who knows? She might even be good at it. Ah! You're offside, Masterson! This is your fourth break this shift! You are... Finding my way back to work now, sir. All uh, right. And then I'll tag all the jock straps for next week's sale. Yeah, you do that. 
Nice kid. Does this mean our afternoon movie plans are canceled? My big career is still a few years away, and I might need a reference. I should get back to work. The Jones Meister is still accepting applications for the position of hot female assistant mm. DJ. Some people should not be allowed to play with microphones. Come on in, ladies. Jonesy is ready and waiting. Son? Uh-oh. You've cried wolf one too many times, maggot. You should be brought up on disorderly conduct charges. You're a disgrace to these barracks, soldier! Whoa! This! This! Pass me the tape, Jude. I want to make sure it's in mint condition before we put it back on the shelf. Uh... Jude? Where's the tape? I... Hey, Jude. Thanks for the spare tape. I used it to make another copy of the movie. Ah! What's with all the screaming, ladies? I won't lie to you, dude. I copied over your samurai tape twice. I see. With what? Board Warriors 3. Ah, that is just sad. Does this mean we're fired? Do you really think I'd be stupid enough to trust you two with my only copy of an obligato? I have a moron-proof one at home. You know, since you're both on probation, I should downsize your pathetic butts right now. But I have another punishment in mind. Where is he taking us, bro? He's going to make us swim with the fishes. Whoa. He's going to whack us? Nope, but you better hope your fish do floats. <laughs> What's that fish smell? Don't ask. Caitlin, I need a lemon whip, fast. Still clinging to that masochistic job of yours? So far, but Coach Halder is all over me like a rash. The Olympics are gonna have to wait. Well, I'm sticking to music from now on. The food critic business is too... Ow. Ditto the spokesmodel gig. This outfit is giving me a scaly wedgie. How about you, Caitlin? Any luck with the writing? Actually, I loved my travel article so much, I decided to hand it in instead of that Shakespeare essay. What did Mr. Holmes do? He failed me, but he did say my writing style was excellent. Way to go, girl. Well, I got canned from my announcer job. I'm gonna miss that one. Yep, things are back to normal. You have no job and I'm late for mine. Aren't you even a little curious about your test results? Okay, since you want to spill so badly, lay it on me. Sure, Mr. Floral Designer. Show me that! See you later, flower man. Get back here, Masterson! I'll show you how it <laughs> Oh, that spider looks so adorable on you! <laughs> but you haven't even seen it on me yet, babe. True, but I know it'll look cute. I mean, how could it not? <sighs> yep, so cute. <laughs> How about we find you something? Really? Okay. You're the best. No, you're the best. Sorry I'm taking so long. I bet you don't think I'm the best anymore. No. I think you're better than the best. Aww. They are just so, so sweet. sweet. Ugh, sweet like vomit. <gasps> I don't know what's worse, the lovey-dovey baby talk or shopping at the tacky barn. Ugh. Hello. What, you didn't get me one? No. Was I supposed to? Uh, yes. Hey, get your own! That's so not sweet. So how about a movie tonight, Kate? <gasps> you read my mind! Aww! So how about this one? I chose last time, so whatever you want. No, not whatever you want. Hand it over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> yeah. How long you two been going out? Nine days. Are you kidding me? This is a chick flick. Come on, give the guy some respect here. <gasps> here, take this. Thank me later. Why do you come here? Because of Jude and Wyatt. Who's your new friend, Jude? Don't know. Someone left him here. I think I'm gonna name him Fish. Uh, how long have you been waiting for his owner to come back? Six hours, but it's cool. He likes Kill Phil. Hmm? 
Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast You gotta make the good times last It's like Wade knows exactly what I'm thinking. You know when someone knows what you're gonna say before you say it? Yep. Like the other day, Wade and I were in the food court and- Wade wiped your chair off for you. <laughs> oh, I guess I told you that story already. Ten times, but it's okay, go ahead. Okay, so we're in the food court and Wade said that's where they get cashmere from goats. <laughs> Which is where Wade eventually wants to take me. At least that's what Tyson, Wade's best friend in the whole world said, that I'm going to Wade's house for dinner to meet his family. <laughs> Wait, Wade, 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 Wade. Wait, 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 Hey, did I tell you guys about the time that Wade? Yes. And the time that Wade? Yes. And that other time Wade? Yes. You don't even know what I'm going to say. Yes, we do. If it happened, we've heard it. Hey, what's up? Jude! Run away, man! You're just in time for my new story about Wade! Wade took me out on the most amazing date for our eight-day anniversary! First of all... Ah! Would you just shut up? Um... Oh, come on! Everyone's thinking it! It's always Wade, Wade, Wade! Can't you talk about something else for once? Hmm... Come on, guys, let's just forget- Just because Wade isn't important to you doesn't mean you can't listen. That's what friends do, right? Uh... Uh... <gasps> well, a real friend wouldn't bore everyone 24-7 with boyfriend trivia, especially when one of us was recently dumped. Right, Wyatt? Thanks for bringing that one up. Wade is not trivial, Nikki. You're just saying that because you... you're... You're jealous! Look, this isn't jealous. Why, because I don't have a boyfriend who helps me pick out pink sweaters? Did you just call me your boyfriend? No, I said Because I could have sworn I heard the word boyfriend. Jonesy, you, you are not my boyfriend. We're just... We're just... See? You can't even commit to Jonesy, who's obviously totally into you. You don't deserve to have a relationship. Oh, huh. Is that what you call your non-stop shopping spree with Wade? Do you have any idea how shallow you are? <gasps> well, at least I'm not a total cow! <gasps> so, did, did I tell you guys I got a sweet new job in the woman's fragrance department? Shut up, Jonesy! You're right, Caitlin. I don't want to listen to your stupid stories, because I'm not your real friend. In fact, we're not friends at all. I'm shallow. <laughs> hey! Hey, Caitlin. You okay? Me? Oh, sure. I'm fine. She's okay. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Nikki's the mean one, and she's gonna be stuck with her mean, mean self for the rest of her life, right? Scratch that. She's not okay. I'm so never talking to her ever again. Anyway, we don't need her, right? Um, we? Yeah. Someone that mean doesn't deserve such amazing friends. So, do you guys want to grab a bite later? I was supposed to see a movie with Wade, but I really need you guys right now. Sure, tonight. Oh, I've got another call. Talk later? Definitely. Can't wait. Bye! Hey. Hey, Nikki. How you doing? Me? I'm fine. Nikki's okay. I'm so over, Caitlin. We are way better off without her. We? Scratch that. Nikki's not okay. Yeah, it'll be like it was before. 
Hey, you guys up for a movie tonight? I really need to hang. Tonight? You're not doing anything, are you? Um, yeah. Oh, what? I mean, no. Uh, sure, a movie. Cool. Later. So what's up for tonight? We're grabbing a bite with Caitlin and going to a movie with Nikki. Uh, how does that work? I have no idea. Are you listening uh -huh. to me? I told you we need bread at the uh -huh. store. Can you manage to do that? Okay, so I ask hot women, I mean, uh, all women, if they'd like to try our new fragrance. Got it. Hello, madam. Can I interest you in a dab of Roar, our new women's fragrance? Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but you and that fish really seem to be getting along. We've got a lot of common interests. We both like water, and bubbles, and plastic bags. <gasps> Dude, what do you think you're doing? Sushi? Could you be any more insensitive? Uh, sorry. Not to me, man. To fish. Sorry, fish. Welcome to the khaki barn. <laughs> <gasps> I guess I'll never get to shop there ever again. Good thing I bought that tank top this morning. <gasps> I just lost a friend and here I am talking about tank tops. Uh, maybe Nikki's right. Maybe I am shallow. Ooh, the new espadrilles are in. Ah, <sighs> maybe Caitlin's right. Maybe I am a cow. I know I can be a little mean sometimes, but hey, at least I'm honest. Right? <gasps> um, we think you should stop talking to us. I liked it way better when she ignored us. Why aren't we at the lemon again? Uh, if Nikki saw us with Caitlin, she'd never forgive us. I don't know, dudes. I feel weird sneaking around. It's just until we can figure out how to get them back together. Hey, Wyatt, watch this. I'm gonna snag you a new hottie. What the? Oh no, he's talking to Serena. Oh. Jonesy, that was my old hottie, remember? Oh, right. Sorry, dude. I think I'm just gonna hang with Star and Fish tonight. Good call. Hubba hubba. Hello. Ugh, sorry, Wyatt. This one's for me. Hey, what about Nikki? Well, seeing as I'm not her boyfriend, I'd say that makes me a free agent. How do I look? Ah. Uh. <sighs> Smooth. Perfume smells so good. Who knew it could taste so bad? So we've got the plan straight, right? We're meeting Nikki at 7.30. Right. But that's in half an hour. Shh, here comes Caitlin. Hey, guys. Hey, Kate. So we ready to order? Cajun burger. Pizza. Jumbo suicide nachos? Hmm. Let's see. Ding, 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 ding. I think I'll have the... <gasps> Chicken club. Your favorite. Mm, mm. Almost done there, Jonesy. Um, you guys kind of seem like you're in a rush. We're going to a movie. Oh, who is? Um, Jonesy and Wyatt. <laughs> it's a boys' night. You guys better run. The movie starts at 7.30, remember? Hey, can we get those to go? Are you in a rush too, Jen? I thought maybe we could... I promised my parents I'd be home too. Oops. Look at the time. Gotta run. See you tomorrow, Kate. Gotta bounce. Later. Oh no, Jonesy's doggy bag. Hmm. Hi. 
What happened to 7.30? The movie started five minutes ago. Sorry, we got held up at... Jonesy, Wyatt, you forgot your... Hey! What, what is, is she, she doing, doing here? here? Uh-oh. Oh, so what? You went out and forgot to invite me? That's just great. You guys are going to a movie with Nikki? You, you lied. lied! We're sorry, but you guys didn't give us a choice. Oh, we'll give you a choice, all right. You get to choose right now. It's either me or her. Yeah, her or me. Ugh! I can't believe how awful last night went. Oh, I know. What's with you, Jonesy? Nikki won't even speak to me. And I got transferred to the men's fragrance department. Now I gotta spray guys, dude. Guys! Oh, that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> when can we go back to the lemon? Forget the lemon. This is Nikki and Caitlin that we're talking about. We can't choose between them. Why can't we all just be friends again? It's complicated. You mean chicks are complicated? No, we're not. Yes, yes you, you are. are. That's why I like fish. You're not complicated, are you, fish? Dude, you brought the fish back to the mall? Sure. What else would I have done with him? Um, put him in a fishbowl? You're not supposed to carry it around with you. The bag's just for getting the fish home. But how would fish see the world cooped up in my room? Actually, Fish isn't looking so hot. Hmm. He's probably hungry. I promised I'd take him to nice Cinnabons for breakfast. Yeah, right. So, what's the plan for getting Nikki and Caitlin back together? If we can get them in the same place for two seconds, maybe they'll talk. Where are you going? To get me and Fish some brekkie. Fine. We'll come up with a plan. So, what's the plan for getting Nikki and Caitlin back together? Nothing. Then I guess it's time for plan B. But we don't have a plan A yet. Exactly. That's why it's time for plan B. What's plan B? Fish and I have been talking and we think we figured something out. Obviously isn't working. Obviously. Let's keep this simple. I get the east side of the mall, you get the west. Stay off my side. Fine. 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 I can't believe I took 80 thorns in the butt for nothing. So much for plan B. Uh-oh. What? Fish doesn't look so good. Fish is fine. He's just chilling. Chilling? Or maybe he's having a nap. Fish? Fish? Wake up, fish! I don't think fish is asleep, Jude. Then why won't he wake up? I'm sorry, man. <gasps> fish is dead? No! I can't believe I spray dudes with cologne for a living. <clears throat> I feel your pain, man. That stuff tastes like crap. 
No accounting for taste. <laughs> right, I'll go pack up my locker. So you've got your choice of titanium. Um, can you excuse me? Dude, are you okay? Fish was such an awesome little dude. I feel like I should do something for him. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Hello? Hey, bad news. Fish is dead. Oh no! Yep, and Jude's pretty broken up about it. I'm planning a funeral. Oh, poor Jude. Wait, this isn't a ploy to get Nikki and me talking again, is it? Trust me, no. But I hope Nikki shows up. Jude needs all his friends right now. Right. Where? Lowe's some washrooms. Four o'clock. Don't mention the washrooms. They're on Nikki's side of the mall, and I've been holding it in all day. No way. Not if Caitlin's going to be there. Besides, the washrooms are on my side of the mall, not hers. Well, you're going to have to let her go to the bathroom at some point, Nikki. This is important. We're doing it for Jude. Fine. Whew. Hello? In here. Where's Caitlin? Be there in a sec. Sorry, kind of an emergency. <clears throat> we are gathered here today to honor the short life of Fish. Fish was an awesome friend and an all-around cool little dude. Fish was great to go boarding with, even though he didn't really like to board. But he went with me anyway, because that's what friends do. Fish was the strong, silent type. He didn't have a lot to say, <sighs> but he was there to listen. Even though we only knew each other for a day, I'll remember Fish forever. <sighs> Sorry, Nikki, I've been a bad friend. Me too. Sorry. Look, do we have to do that thing, you know, where we make up? Oh, yes! I'll start. I'm so sorry I called you a cow. I totally didn't mean it. You might come across as mean sometimes, but you're honest, which is amazing. <sighs> sorry I said you were shallow. Sure, you talk about boys and clothes a lot, but you also care about your friends. We're lucky to have you. I'm lucky to have you. Friends? Friends? Oh, Jude, sorry. It's Fish's funeral. No worries. That was awesome. Even though Fish is dead. Whenever you're ready, dude. Ashes to ashes and, um, fish to toilet. Fish would have dug that. Definitely. <sighs> no more hanging at the fountain. Fish liked it there. Nikki and I have something for you, Jude. We didn't really get to know Fish that well, and I hope it's not too soon. Hmm. Cool. It's a pet rock. It's, um, guaranteed not to die. Thanks, dudette. Rocks rock. Well, come on, Rock. You'll ride up front with me. Later. ways to, um, squeeze lemons? Yeah, I'm on my way to the Calgary Stampede. Wow. Now, you take real good care of the lemon and bring sales up. And I'll have a bonus with your name on it. Yeah! Really? Yep. That's if I don't lose all my money on the cow lottery. 
The cow lottery? Yeah, they let a great big bull loose, and folks bet on where he's gonna drop his load. I'm real good at it. Got a real good sense for poop. I likes me the poop. Ew. Okay, then. Have fun! <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, here's that info about how bacteria breeds in hot tubs and all the ways it can get into your body. Yes. Why do you want that, anyway? It's disgusting. That is exactly why I want it. Thanks. Guess what? My parents said we could use the hot tub for our sleepover party! We are so hooked up! Sorry, Nikki, but you're not invited. What's this? Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Nicely done. Sometimes they just make it too easy. <laughs>
What flew up your butt? Nothing, except that you could save me from a lifetime of loneliness by telling me what movie to watch. Tell you what, I'll give you free air guitar lessons. Come on, man, you have some freaky video superpower. True. And you could use it to help me get my girl back. Unless you think you couldn't come up with anything. Huh, a weak attempt at challenging my movie manhood. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll bite. Really? All right. Whatever. Jude! Jude! I'm coming, I'm coming! Don't leave me in here overnight again. We're not closing. I want you to grab a video for Pathetica over here. Video number... 01685. Oh yeah. I'm feeling better already. This'll help you. Now leave me alone. So, what's it like being a waiter at El Sporto? Eh, okay. Nothing special. Maybe I'll come by for lunch. No, I mean... You're better off in the food court. Well, what sports uniform do they make you wear? Not important. Ugh, this is one bad lemonade. My blender died, so I had to get creative. <clears throat> this movie, my friends, is going to solve all my problems with Serena. Are you talking about Serena, Serena? As in, you're fired and I never want to see you again, Serena? Come on, guys. I think it'll give us some valuable insights. Watch it with me and tell me what you think. Sure, why not? I'll call Jen. Sure. Huh. A movie sounds good. Mm. We'll be there. Oh. <clears throat> hey, want to hang with my friends? Masterson, give me another 50. Pronto. Oh. Coach Halder told me to take lunch now. Guess I'll see you later. Can't feel my arms. <gasps> Jen's in. Meet you there? OK. You know, you'd look really good in a dress like that. Oh, so what I'm wearing isn't nice enough for you? Uh-oh. No, I mean, yes, it is. I, so I... what, now that we're, like, dating, it's okay for you to tell me what to wear? Nice. Hey, wait, I was giving you a compliment. Uh... Lemon smoothie coming up. I know how you feel, little buddy. Aren't there any chicks under 30 in this flick? I don't know. This is a good part. What? Wait. That was so cute. Those old ladies worked so hard on that garden. And did you see how cute they were in their matching flower hats? The only thing more boring than watching old people is watching old people gardening. So what do you think it means for Serena and me? That's easy. Nothing. I think it means you're really boring. <sighs> Want to go to the junior dance with me next week? <laughs> sure. Masterson! I know. You're skating on thin ice, Masterson. That's 600 push-ups this week alone. Ah, good work, Dobbs. How come you never get Busted. I don't know, honey. Guess I'm just lucky. I'll see you later. Ooh. Hey, honey, there's no strength left in my upper body. <laughs> ah! oh. <laughs> and they say Coach Halder's groin has never been the same since. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Jonesy has to work tonight. Where is he? I'm starving. <laughs> there he is. In a skirt. <laughs> it's a kilt. Oh, <laughs> wow. You look really good in that. But you know what would look even better? A blue sundress. Oh, ha ha. Everyone has to wear a sports outfit here, remember? What sport are you supposed to be? Field hockey. <laughs> <laughs> All the guy sports were taken. Except for cross country dressing. <laughs> do you guys want to order or what? Uh, do you have chicken legs? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well done. <laughs> Wayne, what is the point of this movie you gave me to watch? Dude, if I tell you, you won't learn anything. Plus, I'm busy. But it doesn't make any sense. If you can't figure it out, then you don't deserve to have titles on the staff picks shelf. No! Okay, I I'll figure it out. I have a new staff pick. Plenty of room up there now. Let's see it. Radical Pool Party 2. 
I want you to think about what you just said. Okay, this is hopeless. I'll never get my bonus. Your blending troubles are over. They are? Check it out. <laughs> Who needs a blender when you've got an industrial fan? Nice work, Jude. So now that you've had some time, what do you think that movie means? Still nothing. I think it means you and Serena were meant to be together forever. You know what? That's it! You have to tell her. Hold on. Wyatt, it's just a movie. Yeah, but you don't know the power of Wayne. The man does give sick advice. This is crazy. She broke up with you. The movie gods have spoken. You've got to win Serena back. What? You're right. I'm going to do this. Oh. <clears throat> Attention, everyone. This is a message for Serena at Spin This. Serena, it's Wyatt. I know you're here today because I saw you stacking the new releases. Stalker. I can't stop thinking about you. And I really want you to give me one more chance. I'll wait for your answer as long as it takes. All I need is a yes. Mm. Or, no. or no. If you could just, you know, shout out an answer. I'll just wait here and listen. Uh, oh, okay. Um, that's it, I guess. They never listen. What's taking so long with that display, Masterson? <gasps> Sorry, Coach. My arms are so tired. Whoa! Ah! Are you okay, honey? No, I'm not okay. I've done like 700 stupid push-ups for you. My arms are noodles. Cute noodles. Noodles aren't cute. They're soft and droopy. How come you don't do any push-ups? Uh, why would I do them if you didn't make me? Oh, I don't know, because you're a guy and you should act like a man? Jen, you know I have baseball tryouts coming up. I can't be overworking my arms for no reason. No reason? Oh, Dobbs! Could you come over here and show me that swing of yours? <laughs> yes, coach. <laughs> That's an interesting technique and surprisingly dangerous. Hey, Jen. Nikki and I were thinking of inviting Charlie to our movie night. You know, since he's sort of part of the gang now. Part of the gang? Sure, we all agreed he's in. The guy brings the funny. Do you know what he puts on his hot dogs? Nothing. It's just a wiener and a bun, and that's it. And that laugh, it's so annoying. Do you know he calls me honey? Honey, do the push-ups for us. Honey, I have baseball tryouts. Ooh, wish him luck for me. How you doing? Great. Never felt better. I know what would make you feel better. An orange mocha stimulate. Hurry up, Caitlin. He's almost finished his last one. Uh, don't you think he's had enough? No. Drink this, Wyatt. It'll help dull the sting of rejection. Feeling better? I don't know. I am more twitchy. That's a good sign. Okay. I've got to get back to the lemon. Continue stimmy latte consumption until he's no longer thinking of you know who. <sighs> drink, Wyatt, drink. <laughs> ah! Jonesy, did you get my message? What do you think I've got under my kilt? You know it. Jonesy, this is perfect. <clears throat> <clears throat> I better get back. They don't know I'm gone. Okay, thanks again. Later. Hi. Hey. Have you ever noticed that Charlie's hair isn't cut straight? Uh-oh, I'll be right there. What happened? You've never complained about his hair before. I've decided it's actually his head. It's too big. And whenever he lifts something heavy, he gets this giant purple vein in his neck. I think I'm just gonna have to let him go. Look, Charlie's a great catch. He's cute, 
and he cried during life's little wrinkles, and the guys love him. Plus, his head's not really that big. What's the matter with your arms? Hmm, you should look after that. See ya! Ah! I'm missing something here. What is he trying to tell me? Why don't you ask those old dudes? They've probably seen it. Good idea. Ask the old people. Great idea. Dude. Hello, ladies. Hey, Jonesy. Thanks. No worries. No one at the restaurant likes it anyway. You mean this lemonade was once up Jonesy's skirt? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, good call. Caitlin, why don't you remind Nikki what a great guy I am sneaking you cans of lemonade to save your hide. Don't put me in the middle of this. You did commit a serious mistake of the new boyfriend code. What? You told me to change my clothes. No, I, I was just, ugh. Oh, are all girls this difficult? Just the ones with brains. Okay, fine. I'm taking these back. Oh. Sorry I lost you your gross skirt lemonade. That's okay. Nothing overrides a girl's right to her own fashion. So you think the movie was about planting tulips? Wow, not exactly the insight I was hoping for. So my question is, does gardening have anything to do with being together? What is your secret on being together for so long? Nothing better ever came along. Oh, you would. Hmm. So, uh, do you dig old chicks? I don't think this is working. We need a new plan. Right. Like what? Hmm. Disguise yourself as a woman and ask Wayne to explain the movie. Aw, oh, man. I always have to dress up like the chick. Excuse me? Yeah! I watched Life's Little Wrinkles the other day, and I was wondering... Yeah? What's the message of the movie? Well, I tell you, if you weren't a guy dressed as an old woman, what is with you, dude? It's my fault. I can't figure out what life's little wrinkles was supposed to mean. What the heck kind of recommendation was that anyway? What, what are you talking about? The movie you gave me. That wasn't the movie you were supposed to watch. It wasn't? No! Why would I tell you to watch that chick flick? So then why'd you give it to me? I didn't! But I have a feeling I know what happened. This is the movie you were supposed to watch, Dumping Amy. You gave him the wrong movie, dude. Oh, this is all your fault? I watched that thing 12 times because of you? All the boxes look the same. <laughs> Do you ever think fries are better than boys? All the time. Can you see who it is? I can't lift up the phone. It's Charlie. Ugh, let it ring. You're dumping him, aren't you? And I was just starting to like him. And I'm just starting to get feeling back in my arms. <laughs> it's Big Steve. Quick, where can I hide the busted blender? Just play it cool, Caitlin. I'm back. How's the ranch? Uh, um, <laughs> OK. I'm going to rustle me up a lemon smoothie. Hope you don't mind. Mind? <laughs> No, I I don't mind. Ah, blast! Think I busted the blender. Oh well. Oh well? You mean you're not mad? Heck, no. These things only live so long. We were long overdue. I'll pick one up tomorrow. Great. Hey, here's that bonus I promised you. <gasps> Thanks, Big Steve. <laughs> uh oh. I thought I might find you here. Yep. Here I am. <gasps> Is your phone off? I just tried calling you, honey. No, it's on. But I couldn't pick it up because my arms are like two giant pieces of linguine. Speaking of which, I should eat a big meal. Baseball tryouts are tomorrow. I need the energy. Ah! That's it! No more push-ups and no more big giant head. We're so over. Better hit the road there, sport. When she regains use of her arms, She'll come back swinging.
So, who wants to watch Dumping Amy with <gasps> me tonight? Oh, I can't. Sorry, dude. Nope. I'm busy. Oh, come on, guys. Charlie can come, too. No, he can't. I dumped him. Dumped as in dumped? Yes, dumped like a gym bag full of sweaty old gym socks. Dumped. Whoa, but he was so funny. I'm really going to miss that guy, even though he made fun of my chicken legs. Hey, yeah. Where's your skirt? It was a kilt, and I got fired. I accidentally walked over a floor vent. What? How was I supposed to know I couldn't go commando? That is just... Ew. Enough work talk. What's this? It's for you. Something nice that you'd look really good in. <gasps> Aww. Thanks, Jonesy. You know, you're not so bad after all. For a guy. In a skirt. <laughs> Woohoo! Talking to me again. You know it. <laughs> oh, yeah! At this point, I'd take the fries any day. Mmm, is that Mocha? Back off. Whoa, you're grumpy this morning. His aunt's in town, so he's crashing at my house this week. Scored the top bunk, too. No way. You get to have a sleepover party for a whole week? A what? A sleepover. You know, staying up late, renting movies, eating tons of junk food. That's what we're supposed to be doing? Duh. That's why they call them sleepover parties. You've never heard of a sleepover party before? No? So we can have one tonight? Whatever, as long as we eventually end up sleeping. Hey! <laughs> guess what tomorrow is? Jonesy and Nikki's anniversary! What do you mean? They've only been dating for, like, three months. Exactly three months. It's so major! I guess it is pretty cool. <gasps> oh my gosh, there he is! There who is? Zane? The one I've been trying to get to notice me for a week? The one who works at Belts, Belts, Belts? I'll be right back. I wonder what flavor I should get. Mmm, those smell good. Fresh from the oven, huh? The chocolate chip are really good. Uh, yeah. Hey, so do you like your new job? One pecan glaze, please. Okay, so I guess I'll see you later. Bye. That was ugly. Life begins after school. That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16 Starting to find my way Got a new job Gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16 Life is sweet When you're growing up so fast You gotta make the good times last The good times last He literally doesn't know I exist. Oh, crash and burn, huh, Caitlin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for noticing. Oh, that girl is so annoying. Just ignore her. What? Never mind. Guys, you made it! <laughs> Uh, yeah. We make it here every day? No, I mean you made it to three months! Do you know what she's talking about yet? Your anniversary? It's tomorrow? Oh. oh. Took us a minute to get it, too. Is this something that I missed and I'm already in trouble for? Because if it is, I can explain. Relax, Jonesy. I didn't know it was our anniversary either. Phew. So, uh, do you want to do something? Sure. I guess. Oh, you have to celebrate. And to get you started, ta-da! See, there's a three for three months. Wow, you really need a boyfriend. I have one. Well, not yet, but soon. I even had a t-shirt made. 
I'm speechless. I am actually without words. I know. Cute, right? Green's his favorite color. Um, uh... Nope. Still nothing. Aren't you supposed to be working at that new pottery store? You mean no other clay? I'm taking a strategic break. There's a birthday party there right now. You do not want to be around seven-year-olds making pottery. Dude, what are you doing? Watching movies about chicks having sleepover parties? Huh, so what do you got there? Um, girls just want to have slumber, giggling after midnight, and sneaking out. No, 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 if you're gonna do this, here's what you need. Pajama apocalypse. There's a guy at the window, and my personal fave sneaking out to the sneakening. The sequel's better than the original? You trust me on this or not? Uh, okay. You know I love Jude, but being around him 24-7 at work, at school, and now at home is starting to drive you postal? Hey! You're supposed to braid each other's hair and circle cute guys in your yearbooks! Can we do that? <sighs> so what are you gonna get Nikki for your anniversary? What? I have to get her a gift? Caitlin seems to think so. But what? <laughs> I have no idea. It's not that big a deal, is it? It is one quarter of a whole year. It's the beginning of a long-term relationship and a serious commitment requiring a symbolic gift. I'm in a relationship? Yes! After three months, it becomes a relationship. Everyone knows that. Whoa, so I'm officially in a relationship. Oh, got it, Ren. Zane goes on his washroom break at 11.15 every day. I'm gonna try to cut him off. Just when I think she's got a handle on this guy thing? I know, wham, it's gone. Hmm. Can I help you, young lady? No, thanks. I'm fine. Are you lost? Nope. Uh, what is it, miss? Do you have to go? Then you're going to have to vacate this area. You're loitering outside a public lavatory. But I have business here. I thought you said you didn't have to go. Okay, I'm waiting for this cute guy to come out so I can talk to him. Is this the cute guy? No! Well, yes, but please don't... Son, this young lady says she's waiting to meet you. Is this true? Well, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, you know what? I have to go. Excuse me. I guess she really had to go. How can I ever face him again? At least he noticed you. Hey, what's up? Don't. Well, I got Jonesy's gift. A DVD? Not just any DVD. The director's cut of guys doing dumb stunts. No, no, no. That's way too small. It is? Yes. You have to get him something that says, you are really special. But he is. I mean, well, what do you think? I guess. She's the expert. Fine. I'll look for something else. I've got to go. Hang in there. Bye. Caitlin? Uh, she's not here. Oh, that's too bad. I was gonna ask her out. You were? Why? I thought you were really cute back there, you know, at the washrooms. Wow. Really? Definitely. So, uh, your answer is? Yes, yes, yes! Cool. Pick you up at six. I have no idea what to get Nikki. What if I get her the wrong thing? You could make her some pottery. Is that a nice enough present? I used to make all my mom's presents and she liked them. And it's free! Bonus! Except I've never actually made pottery before. No sweat. I learned how to make bowls at camp one year. I can teach you. Sweet. Hey, hey. So what kind of sleeping bag do you need? Just something to camp out on the couch with until Jude goes home. Here you go. So, did you find something else for Jonesy? Check it out. Whoa, you got him an MP3 mini? Wow. Will you, uh, excuse me? But what about your sleeping bag? Uh, right. Nikki, are you crazy? This is way too expensive. 
You don't get a guy something this big after three months. He'll totally freak him out. I will? Why? It's too much pressure. He'll think you're, like, in love with him or something. Are you? No. I, I mean, I don't think so. I <laughs> Guess what? Zane asked me out on a date! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to get ready. So, back to these presents. You have to get each other gifts that are the same value. Otherwise, it'll throw off the whole balance of power in the relationship. I'll go see if I can find out what Jonesy's getting you. Oh, this is worse than a calculus exam. You're squeezing the clay too hard, dude. Let your fingers be light. Look, I'm trying to be gentle. I've never done this before. Okay, here. Relax your hands. Now start from the bottom. See? Wow, check it out, it's working. Nothing. So, uh, how about those leaves? Yeah, how about them? <laughs> nice. I've got to clean that up. Sorry, dude. What do you think? I made it myself. Looks like a breast. What? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does, dude. You made Nikki a boob bowl? <laughs> what are you laughing at? You made the lid. Jonesy, I just saw what Nikki's getting for you. What's with the breast? It's not a breast, it's a useful bowl for keeping stuff in. Yeah, in the shape of a breast. Well, I think it's a sweet gift. Anyway, so what's Nikki getting me? An MP3 mini. Wow, that's big. Now my gift sucks. Yeah. I thought you said it was sweet. Compared to an MP3 mini, it sucks, dude. Nikki must really like me to get me an MP3 mini. What does that mean? It means welcome to relationship land, population two. So I'm gonna be stuck with one girl for the rest of my life? Try not to look at it as a death sentence. Think of it more as life without parole. Ever. Ah! How did this happen? I knew it. What am I gonna do? Well, you do really like her, right? Yes! So you could keep dating her and see how it goes. Okay, so suppose I'm gonna give this a shot. What now? You're seriously gonna need a better present. Psst, psst. Caitlin, over here. Hello? <gasps> what? <laughs> Shh. We have to talk to you. <laughs> we know about your little crush on Zane. You can't like him. But I do. You can't. Why not? Trisha and Zane used to go out, but he brutally ditched her before the grade eight dance for Hillary Sorkin just because she got braces. Trisha was devastated. <laughs> so, you see why you can't go out with him? No, not really. Mm. You don't do that to another girlfriend. But Trisha and I aren't even friends. You regardless, you can't go out with him. Cancel your date tonight or face social suicide at this mall. You have to take that MP3 mini back or you could scare Jonesy away for good. Well, what should I get him? Something small. Small, right. I can do that. Guys, I need your help. Mandy and Gwen just told me I can't date Zane because Trish used to like him. Please, she's just jealous. He doesn't even like her anymore. Oh, you don't know the power of this girl. She can be so evil. Like she's gonna do anything. I once bought the same sweatshirt as Trisha did and she snuck into my locker during gym class and cut a hole in it. <laughs> Caitlin, you can't let her push you around like this. Yeah, you finally got Zane's attention. You have to go out with him. You're right. Okay, I'm going. I warned her. She is going to love this. One personal video game player with instant message capabilities. A fine choice. Here's your total. Ouch. Uh, Jude, you got some cheddar I can borrow? <laughs> what? You're the one who said I needed to get something better. Didn't know I was gonna have to pay for it. You shouldn't buy toys you can't afford. Yeah, it's not for me, okay, Yoda? It's for Nikki. This relationship stuff is expensive. You had a crush on me last fall? I didn't think you knew I existed. Well, I didn't, until you slammed your locker door into my face. <laughs> hey, spicy spring roll! Oh, we didn't order those. The gift from Pretty Larry at the table. Hey! Oh, that's nice. 
She must have changed her mind. About what? Nothing. Are you okay? <gasps> It'll distract you from the pain. You're playing with fire, Caitlin, and you're going to get burned. How'd they know you'd get this cookie? Because it's from Trisha! Oh, she's good. But let's see how she likes this. Oh, it is so on. <laughs> it was so great. And the best part of the whole date was we bumped into Trisha again at the movies. Sounds really special. I guess. It was! <laughs> so, how was the sleepover party last night? Awesome. You can stay up until five if you eat enough hot fudge. <sighs> so, how was it really? He braided my hair. This is kind of my fault, isn't it? <gasps> Caitlin, the boyfriend stealer? Oh, I told you she was evil. They're everywhere. Hey, guys, what's up? Trish is ruining my life. Right, I saw the posters. You know what? I'm going to get her back. Caitlin? Zane, do you want to have lunch with me today? Definitely. Great, see you then. Cool. Ha! Let's see how she likes that. Well, I'm glad nobody's fighting over me. Is he wearing your clothes? There are s'mores all over his. Why don't you exchange your gifts now? <laughs> Fine. Jonesy, you first. Okay. Well, here's the first one. <gasps> it's a personal video game player. <gasps> this is a really big gift. And he made you something, too. Well, I did have some help. Wow, it's, uh... Is that a breast? No, it's a boob. I, I mean, it's a bowl. Okay, Nikki, your turn. Oh, no, no, we really don't have to open mine now. <laughs> It's just a little something. <gasps> it's gum. It's a big baseball chew. Your favorite? It's a six pack. Wow, this is uncomfortable. I've got to get to work. I thought you were just giving her that breast thing. I changed my mind. It's all Wyatt's fault. He told me what to get her. What were you thinking? What happened to that MP3 mini? I told her to take it back because Jonesy was freaking out. How did you know that? Because I was spying on you. But that's what Nikki really wanted to get me, right? Well, that one was kind of Caitlin's idea. <laughs> oh, I've got to go too. Later, guys. So, we kind of blew that one, huh? Right out of the water. If no one wants this, I'll take it. <laughs> Focus. Sheesh. We have to fix things between Nikki and Jonesy. We do? Yes. This is all our fault. I know. Let's send them on a date. Yes. Wyatt, can you guys bring Jonesy to the movies at 7.30? You got it. Caitlin, grab mushy movie tickets and I'll grab flowers. Let's move. Two for your most romantic movie. Sorry, I can't serve you. You've been blacklisted. What? But these tickets aren't even for me. They're for my friends. Okay, but don't bother trying them at the gate. Trisha's second cousin works there, and he's real loyal. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! <gasps> Not the khaki bar, too! I tried to warn you. Trisha can be very influential. So can I. <gasps> ah! Oh, she's killing my social life. Can you have your meltdown outside? Trisha threatened to boycott the khaki barn if we let you in here. Oh, fine. Come on, Nikki. Where are we going? Oh, what is this, a setup? Shush. We messed up your anniversary, and now we're going to fix it. Whatever. Oh, fine. How could you get me gum? What does that say about our relationship? Shh. I am so sick of that word. And, and why are you basing everything on some stupid gift? Shh. An MP3 mini wouldn't have been stupid. Well, maybe I wouldn't want you to freak out over being stuck with one girl or anything. Yeah, yeah, we're going. That's it. This anniversary is over. Fine by me. She can't do 
this to me. I've got to make her change her mind. Okay, if you want to get her to stop messing with you, you're gonna have to remain calm and nice. Remember, she's just doing this because her ego's been bruised. Oh, Trisha, can we talk? Wow, good fake smile. Hey. Uh-oh. Ah! You can't have all the boys in the mall. Oh, yeah? Just watch me, Lemonhead. Ah! Let go of my hair! Oh, oh. What is going on here? Back off, Zane. This isn't about you. Yeah, it's between me and Lemonhead. Stop calling me that! Oh. You know what? I think us dating would just get in the way of your fight with Trisha. I'm out of here. Are you happy? You made him break up with me. Actually, I think you did a pretty good job on your own. You can let go of my hair now. Ooh. Well, so much for calm and nice. So? So, I was thinking, what if we try... We should break up. What? I don't think I'm ready to be in this big relationship. It's just this anniversary stuff. But that's just it. I don't want the Nikki and Jonesy relationship to get between us. We've been friends since we were four. Yeah, and I've had a crush on you since I was 14. Really? Yeah. This is gonna sound really lame, but I thought we kind of had something, I don't know, like special between us. There is. I'm not saying forever, just for now. Okay? Okay. We are so hooked up for tonight. What's in the bag? Scary horror movies and enough cookie dough to make us throw up. You're still having sleepovers? You said your aunt left two days ago. She what? Uh-oh, was I not supposed to say that? I haven't slept in four days! I'm going home for a nap! Alone! But dude, I've got cookie dough! So what about you and Jonesy? You're really okay with this whole breakup thing? Mm-hmm. Maybe one day when things aren't so complicated. Where is Jonesy? Probably getting fired. There were a lot of complaints from parents about that breast bowl. <laughs> I've got to go, babe. Meet me at 4.15 at Grind Me. Cool. I'll miss you. Miss you more. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Nikki, that was really insensitive of me. I forgot you and Jonesy just broke up. Don't sweat it. It's kind of a relief. Maybe someday, when one of us is more mature, we can give it another shot. But for now, I definitely think we're better off as friends. So, I can talk about Dustin? Knock yourself out. Okay, isn't Dustin dreamy? I know he made my knees go weak. <laughs> Shut up, Jonesy! Ow! <laughs> Whoa, I better get going. There's a lineup at Vegan Island. See you tonight. Sure. <laughs> you and Star look like you're getting tight. She is a Betty Lim lovely. <sighs> I think Dustin might be the one. Uh, you said the same thing about the last guy. Oh, no. Wade definitely wasn't the one. He had sneaky B.O. He tried to cover it up with body spray, but I could still smell it. Dustin, though, <sighs> he's special. I'm surprised you're into a guy who has one eye way lower than the other. <gasps> he does not! Oh, he does. Does not! Hey, <laughs> forgot my lemon squeeze. Hmm. Hmm. I arrest my case. Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet so fast, you gotta make the good time.
times last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last Well, I still like him, even if he does have one weird eye. It's a free country. Yes, it's all set. What? Only the best job I've ever had. Cyber love. Meet you on the internet? People send me a picture and a description of their interests, and I set them up on dates. For a small fee, of course. Oh, this should be interesting. You haven't even heard the best part yet. I'm the one who screens the pictures. Yeah? So I can weed out the hot chicks and set them up with yours truly? You wouldn't! Why not? It's like my own private pool of hotties to choose from. And the beauty part is, I'll already know what the girls are into because it's right on their applications. I can't believe I ever dated you. Ugh. Send in an application, maybe I'll date you again. What happens to all the guys? What guys? The guys who apply to your service? I delete them. Have you no shame? No shame, no gain. I don't know, dude. Yeah, what happens if you get caught? Won't you be embarrassed? Uh, Jonesy's missing that gene. Oh, I get embarrassed. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, no. Some things are better left unsaid. Oh, come on. You can tell us. We were probably there anyway. Yeah, best friends always tell each other stuff like that. <gasps> Let's all tell each other. I promise, none of you can beat my story. This is strictly between us? <coughs> yes, yes! Who goes first? Okay. I guess it would be the time I ran full speed into a stop sign in front of the school. <laughs> Boring. Oh, I still have the scar. Don't worry, you only notice it if you look at your head. Ow! Well, I already know what Wyatt's is. If you don't tell them, I will. Mm. Okay, okay. I built a shrine in my bedroom to Serena. No <laughs> way. <laughs> you took it down after she fired you and broke up with you though, right? All right, I'm going to. I've been busy. <laughs> Pathetic. At least yours is a private horror. I once sat on a chocolate bar without knowing it. In white pants! <laughs> I walked around for two hours like that before I realized what happened. Wow, you are so brave showing your face around here after that. At least you didn't puke in your girlfriend's mouth on your first kiss. Oh, that is up there. Just don't mention it in front of her. Remembering it makes her gag. Duly noted. Boy, you guys are losers. Okay, Jonesy. So what was your most embarrassing moment? Didn't I already tell you guys? No. no. All right. This one time in grade seven, I needed a haircut, but my barber was on vacation. Yeah? So I went to my mom's salon. What's so embarrassing about that? Well, the stylist said that I had great hair. And the one thing that would make it better would be... a body wave. <laughs> you mean a perm. How could you let her give you a perm, dude? The stylist was hot. And it wasn't a perm, it was a body wave. It was totally a perm. <laughs> dude? <laughs> I feel so much better about the puking thing now. <laughs> Guys, we shouldn't laugh at him. That must have been hard to admit. Hey, you haven't told us your most embarrassing moment yet. Okay, but this does not leave the group. Swear? You remember Trish, right? Oh yeah. We went to the beach one day last year. I was wearing this really cute retro style bikini. I got it on sale at Bikini Republic for 50% off. Caitlin, focus. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I went to the little girl's hut, and when I came back out, I had toilet paper hanging out of my bikini bottom. Oh! Whoa. Oh, that's bad. Trisha let me walk around <laughs> with a tissue tail all day, and she filmed it. I haven't been back to that beach since. So what happened to the film? She has it. She's always threatening to upload it onto her blog site. Harsh. So I guess we all have something on each other now. None of this leaves this table. If the ladies hear about my body wave, I might as well just give up. Don't worry, Jonesy. 
it's in the vault. But that doesn't mean we can't laugh at you. <laughs> laugh it up, poopy pants. So are we still going to that hypnotist show tonight? <laughs> Definitely. This guy is supposed to be amazing. Later, dudes. Date number one in ten minutes. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Oops. Embarrassing, but you still win. <laughs> and Jonesy got a perm. <laughs> and he was so embarrassed when he told us that. It was so funny. <laughs> Man, that is bad. Are you sure you should be telling me this stuff, though? Of course. You're my boyfriend. There's no secrets between us. Oh, okay. So, what's your most embarrassing moment? Oh, I forget. Check, please. Of course, no one can touch Shania Twain's song, I Feel Like a Woman. Shut up, Steve. That's my favorite song. Mine too? Of course, nothing beats sharing a vanilla cupcake with a Golden Lab puppy. I can't believe this is happening. I was so skeptical about computer dating, but it's like we're... Reading each other's minds? Mm. Sorry, I have to run and help my mom. Maybe we can hook up later for a barefoot walk on the beach? Sure. Call me! <sighs> Sissy the Vampire Slasher Season 1. You don't want this. Uh, yes I do. I do want it. Dude, are you a little girl? I mean, you look like a man, but I'm wondering if you've suffered some form of trauma okay. that has destroyed the part of your mind that generates appreciation no. for quality vampire-based entertainment. Right. Yeah. You, you, uh... Vampire Fighters. Uh, from Dust Till More Dust. No. Near or uh... Dark. And the chairman of the board suck my pulsing neck. Okay. The director's cut. I, I guarantee that by the end of these, you'll be on a blood-sucking rampage yourself. Excuse me. Don't thank me. Just go home and grow some stones, okay? I can't believe that you're so into Spanish contemporary poetry. See, si, it's so bueno. I love the rhyming. She makes my heart swell like a burrito grande. I must go. We'll continue our conversation mañana, my little chorizo sausage. Ciao. <sighs> so, when do I get to go on my first date, Jonesy? I've got a lot of love to give. Soon, coach, soon. In your case, there are so many ladies hot to meet you, I'm trying to weed out the crazies. Uh, not so fast there, young man. I like my women spicy. Ladies and gentlemen, the master approaches, direct from Tibet, Zargon, the Amaziologist. I am Zargon. In the next hour, I will amaze you with my powers of the mind. I need a volunteer. You, sir, with the uneven eyes. He means you. Me? Well, okay. I've got to warn you, fella. People have tried to hypnotize me before, and uh, I don't sleep. Oh, this is so cool. Go, Dustin! You are an actor, and I am auditioning you for the role of a superhero. Here I come to save the day! Wow, wow. he's good. I want you to imagine that you are an announcer for the top-rated television gossip show, and give us the scoop. This just in. Jonesy went to a salon once and got a permanent wave. Oh. 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 Dude, you did not. Tell me you did not. <laughs> Nikki ran headfirst into a stop sign in front of the whole school. <laughs> Fascinating. Tell us more. Well, Sargon, as we all know, Jude got his first kiss last month. And boy, did he blow it. He barfed in his girlfriend's mouth. Yuck! <laughs> and did you know that Wyatt still has a shrine to Serena in his bedroom? Oh, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. Jen sat in a chocolate and walked around all day looking like she had a poop stain on her white pants. <laughs> Caitlin? What happened? Hey, guys. <laughs> A great show, huh? <laughs> uh. Hey, guys. Anybody want a free lemon slush? How about free large super whips? Come on, guys. I'm sorry, okay? What more can I say? 
Uh, did you guys hear something? No, nope. not a thing. Uh-uh. Not a... How was I supposed to know Dustin was gonna blab everything? It's not my fault. Yes, it is. You told him our most intimate secrets. Do you have any idea how embarrassing that was? I officially will never be able to look at Serena again! I noticed the toilet paper story didn't come up. Let me guess, because she didn't tell him that one. <gasps> I couldn't! We're at a critical stage in our relationship. I can't jeopardize it with a toilet paper in the bikini story. You're blowing this whole thing out of proportion. I bet everybody's forgotten about it already. Is your head okay, Nikki? No, I feel sick. Come over here so I can hurl in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Come back! Come here, you creeps. Ignore them, Nikki. Great idea, chocolate butt. <gasps> oh, that is it! She's mine! I'm out of here. See you later, guys. Mm. This is all Dustin's fault. Kinda. And that feeling when you reach the summit? That rush of adrenaline? Well, that's climbing. So tell me all about your Everest climb, Sven. Oh, okay then. It was uh, really, really, really high. Masterson! Dobbs and I have a bet going and we need you to settle it. Sure, coach. Now, Dobbs says that the chocolate you sat in was dark chocolate, but I maintain that milk chocolate would look far more poop-like. So what was it? I don't know. I wasn't eating it. I sat in it. <laughs> hey, that's no way to talk to your superior. Drop and give me 50. <sighs> you don't look anything like your picture. Yeah, ditto. And you don't look anything like an Imperial Klingon. Whatever, can we end this now? No. Did you see Starkop on the Space Network last night? Yeah, it's my favorite show. Starkop was canceled last year, and it wasn't even on the Space Network, loser. I'm a loser! You're the one wearing fake ears! Ah! You aren't the guy I was supposed to get hooked up with, are you? Steve? I thought you had to help your mom. Uh... No, silly. <gasps> That's Juan Carlos. Except, where's your mustache? Oh, wow! You're both here! What's she talking about, Sven? Wait, aren't you the guy who got the perm? Help! Ah, I want my money back! You said you'd find my soulmate! No good luck! Get him! <gasps> Together, we can rule the universe. <laughs> One more crack about stop signs and you'll be Siamese twins. Hey. This is ridiculous. I can't go anywhere without being called chocolate butt or butt spot or... Butt brownie. Shut it! Come on. Let's go to underground. Too many people know us at the squeeze. Caitlin's gonna pay for this. Hey, barf girl. Ate anything fishy lately? <laughs> <laughs> Scram, little dude. Uh, I can't go anywhere without someone asking me to taste test their bile. I know. They've been all over me, too. It's like puking in somebody's mouth is the worst thing a guy can do or something. Hardly any of it went in your mouth. And I only had a hot dog. It wasn't like pea soup or guacamole or cold pizza. Way to go, Jude. Nothing wrong with blowing a few chunks. I wish that's all I'd done. Serena's taking out a restraining order with mall security. <laughs> Hello? Jen, it's me. I just wanted to say I'm so... Hide me! Get him! Where did he go? I want my money back! And you had it all figured out, huh? Okay, it was a bad idea. I'm officially firing myself from the dating service. Even I can only handle one girl at a time. Right. I just have to make those guys realize how sorry I am. But first I have to find them. We can't stay here forever. Why not? We could watch videos until we die. Or until someone else does something really humiliating and the attention shifts from us to them. I got a perm, Jen. 
Finding something worse than that could take months. Oh, look. Our revenge has arrived. Let the uploading begin. <laughs> How could she not feel it flapping? <laughs> it's like an episode of Prank. What are you guys watching? <gasps> hey, Lemonhead. You! Your old girlfriend was kind enough to bring over a little home video from your trip to the beach. No! <gasps> hey, guys. Uh, sorry about blabbing all that stuff to everyone. Uh, I feel terrible. It's not your fault. You were hypnotized. But now that you're here, I'd like you to see a little something. Oh. Uh, okay. Don't do this, guys. I'm begging you, please. Hit it, Jude. <laughs> no way! How could you not know? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've got <laughs> See you later, Lemonhead. <sighs> well, I hope you're happy. Oh, not yet, but we will be. We're gonna upload this to the class email directory. <gasps> you wouldn't. Come on, guys, it was just a few people laughing. Well, then you won't mind taking some of the heat off of us, will you? Wait, haven't I been humiliated enough? Let me think. Everyone in the mall heard our embarrassing stories and one person has seen yours. No. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, I'll be a laughing stock. Join the club. Best friends don't email toilet paper videos. Nice try. Okay, look, I know you guys think those stories are totally embarrassing, but they're really not that bad. Take Wyatt. So he built a creepy shrine to a girl. It shows how capable of loving someone he is. I think it's sweet. Jonesy, so you took a bold chance with your hair. You have to admire someone who's not afraid to say, I'm a guy and I'm getting a perm. So people call you chocolate butt. Everyone knows you've got the cutest booty in the mall. That's true. <laughs> Shut up, Jonesy. He puked in your mouth and you're still together. Now that's love. Hey, yeah. Don't tell me there's an upside to running into a stop sign. No, that's pretty bad. But if there's ever anyone who's taught me not to care about what people think, it's you, Nikki. I can only think of one way to show you how sorry I am. There. Now we're all in the same boat. Whoa, that was awesome. It was like Al Pacino in And Justice for All. When did I get old? I can't believe you did that. You guys were mad, and I care more about what you think of me than everyone else at this school combined. Uh, about that upload. I probably should have mentioned this, but we were connected to the mall jumbotron system too. People watching in the food court. Oh, I'm totally ruined. Oh, it's not that bad. At least you don't have a restraining order from the toilet paper. I can't believe you didn't dump me. Yeah, uh, I've been meaning to talk to you. I think we should break up. You what? Why? Because of the toilet paper? No. Well, yeah. Oh, fine. Go. Get out. We broke up. I guess I can't blame him. I mean, I wouldn't want to be dating someone nicknamed T.P. Tail either. Ah, uh, who needs him? Right. You're right. Got any chocolate? Hey, don't look at me. Check under her. <laughs> <laughs>